Right, so, man, am I happy to be back with some more Ratchet & Clank. It's been, I don't even remember how long at this point since we did the uh, the 12-hour stream. Since we played, yeah, it's been about that long since we played Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. It has been entirely too long, but I am super excited to be back with it. We are apparently 13% of the way through the game. Oh, okay, so yeah, 12-16 is the last time we played it. So there we are. It's right there. <laughs> and we are now, what, the end of January? So it's been over a month. Hey, Nate, what's up, man? Happy to see you made it today. So, yeah, it, it's been, you know, just just a little while. <laughs> oh, uh, settings. I don't think we need to mess with any of this, right? HDR, I don't have my... Uh, I don't have an HDR monitor, sadly. Someday. Some day. All right, let's just resume the game, man. Get right back into it. I honestly, I don't remember 100% where we left off at or anything. Um, it's starting to come back to me though. We're in the bar here, and in this bar we. We, uh, we had some sort of fight with some dude or something. I don't really remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Give me uh, one more moment, actually. I just noticed that the game's a little bit darker than usual. So, we are going to just go into the PlayStation settings and see if I can fix that real quick. Because for some reason, my capture setup doesn't seem to like, um... The full RGB range, I have to do. I have to do the limited RGB range, otherwise, everything just doesn't look right. So, if I go to screen and video, I should be able to RGB range, turn off automatic, turn it on limited. So all my other monitors and everything that I have hooked up to my splitter can handle it just fine. But the capture card doesn't seem to like it for one reason or another. So hopefully, Quaint. is it just me or does that look a little bit darker now? <laughs> does it, huh. Odd. Hold on, let me uh, let me play with it again for just a moment. I should have had this set up before we we hopped in. I apologize. Make sure my capture card is set up right. Uh, color space. 709, 601, okay. Default seems to be fine. Color range. There we go, okay. I didn't have this specific capture card set to full. So that's why it's so weird to me, because in OBS, I have to set it to full color range. But then in whatever I'm playing, I have to set it to limited. Otherwise, it just doesn't come up right for one reason or another. It's very odd, but whatever, we got it working now. And everything is looking A-OK. -okay. I'm looking, comparing my main monitor to the secondary one, the capture. And it's a tiny bit darker on capture, but it's, it's, it, we, we are talking tiny difference, so. Oh, okay, so we can actually go through this. We all knew it wasn't going to be easy. Yes. Very cool. I just hope we're going the right way. <laughs> so, wait, okay, so that's the back. This is back to our ship. Yeah, 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 okay, that's what that is. And this is a portal into the thing. So, we're redone in here. This is what happens when you go a month and a half without playing a game. I just can't <laughs> remember absolutely nothing. Okay, so that little portal stops us from bringing in of our weapons in. That makes sense. Um, doesn't look like it, because we already fought the dude in here, right? It was one of these pirate dude, if I remember correctly. See, so yeah, I, I think we're done in here, right? We came over here to the Coliseum, we did the fight. What's this do? Prove your worthiness? Oh, so we can, we can just do, like, random fights and shit over here? That's, that's fun. I don't know, I'm, I imagine there's some sort of unlock or something we get for it. At the very least, I'm sure we'd get, like, uh, money, but... Yeah, we don't need to. We don't need to mess around with that, man. 
I don't know if you can hear me, but I hope you're having a, a good day there, Nate. I do appreciate you stopping in as always, bud. Alright, so I guess we're just going back to our ship. We must be needing to fly somewhere at this point. Hey, Miss Zircon, I remember you. You... A drill hound? What the hell is that? Yeah, let's see the preview on that, man. <laughs> just treating it, talking to it like it's a dog or something. What? So it's a rocket launcher, but with a drill on the front of it? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty sick. I don't think we have enough money for it, though, do we? Um, yeah, no, we have 6,975, so we definitely don't have enough. And we need to we need to step our step up our uh, our money collecting game here. Uh, and then we got a bunch of upgrades. Do we have? Wait, there's just a purchase all button. No, don't <laughs> don't do that. So we have ten upgrade slots though. That's good. What do we increase sprinkler lifetime? We haven't messed around with the sprinkler a whole lot yet, have we? From what I remember. Oh, there's a chain select. Oh, that's cool. Increase initial radius. I mean, okay, so what do we have otherwise? We have the enforcer. So that has these special ones. Shots pierce anything in their path. And to get that, we need to increase area of effect and the amount of ammo that we pick up. So this also, this just increased the amount of ammo we pick up and we can increase area of effect. Shots fire at a higher rate. That seems nice. Increase max ammo also seems nice. Mr. Fun Guy was fun. We used that a couple times. The blast pistol is like our main weapon. So I feel like our main ranged weapon. So I feel like we should probably just up finish upgrading this first. And then we'll uh, worry about all those other things. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a plan to me. No problem. And yeah, just kind of chilling today. Might do late DoorDash grabbing a few things around town at the moment. I feel that, man. There's even a cup holder. <laughs> cool little upgrade for that. Or not an upgrade, a, uh, a, uh, shit, what are they called, man? Trophy? Neat little trophy, I guess. There's even a cup holder. Um, okay, so the shatter bomb or the enforcer. Able to fire single or double barrels of plasma grenade that explodes upon impact. Let's, since we've already got this one partially upgraded, let's do this one first. We'll try to unlock that extra, that extra little effect there. How do we switch weapons again? Okay. With this. And how do we switch what weapons are in the slots? Oh, man. It's been... I, I have to reacquaint myself with the game. It's been so long. Collect more by complete, completing pocket dimensions. Okay. So this is where we can change, like, our helmets and stuff. I guess we never actually messed with this last time, did we? Yeah. We can put on different gear. I don't think it actually does anything, though, does it? Oh, there's bonuses of some sort. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, so if you equip the entire collection, you get a bonus. But otherwise, you don't get anything. So really, we can just mix and match <laughs> for now. What is this one? It... Oh, yeah. No, we're definitely wearing... <laughs> no, we're going we're gonna... to we're gonna take those off. I do kind of like having boots, though. I like those ones. Those ones look nice. Uh, we don't have any chess pieces. So collectibles. Gold bolts. You found a gold bolt. Each one grants you access to a unique reward or a cheat. That's neat. Okay. Apply a skin to Ratchet's wrench. Um, toggle reward. Reset all to default. So we can't actually pick... Like, which one we unlock. We just unlock something. So wait, do we... I guess it doesn't apply to hers. It only applies to Ratchet's wrench. That's fine then. Uh, weapons. Okay, so this is where we can equip them, right? So we want the blast pistol pretty much always equipped. So that can just go in the top slot. Um, Negatron Collider. I don't know. That one seems a little over the top. Topiary Sprinkler. I don't know, man. Just put them all somewhere. Mr. Fun Guy. I do like Mr. Fun Guy. Mr. Fun Guy is cool. And then the Shatter Bomb. And then the Negatron one we put all the way over there. We'll put it... <clears throat> okay, well, <laughs> almost killed ourselves there. That was good. <laughs> okay, so up is that, right is that, 
mention, but Mort wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Okay, so we can't actually select the ones that we have set for sideways, though. I forgot about the triggers on the PlayStation 5, man. So what's the point of having things set to the diagonals if we can't actually switch to them? Choose a new slot for this weapon. That's weird. Okay, well, our main ones are the Mr. Fungi, which is set over there. The Enforcer will set to the left. Uh, the Shatter Bomb is pretty good, though. But I do really like... I don't know. I just want all of them. I want all of them equipped all the time. <laughs> so what did he ask us to do? I wasn't paying enough attention. I completely missed what he asked us to do, man. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too important. What does all these other buttons do? So that's the aiming button. That just shoots. L1 and R1 don't seem to do... Okay, that's like makes us run faster. A dash of rigatonium? Man, I could go for some rigatoni now. Limeade recipe? What? I Man, I feel like I've forgotten so much already. It's it's ridiculous. Should probably be breaking all these chests so we can collect more nuts and bolts and shit as we're running around. Lord knows we could use some money. Ooh, that's some nasty looking goo. Alright, I'm sure if we hop in our ship, it'll tell us what to do. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that and hope for the best, man. Hopefully, it gives us a hint on where to go. Alright, we got something. Oh, broadcast? Hello, Dimension. Hello. I know I've been away for a... You know how long. So, I thought we should catch up. What have I been up to? Oh, just speaking with my adoring fans. Enjoying my lovely scenery. And finding out that there are two, two insolent lumbaxes running around trying to ruin everything so i'm offering a bounty of three squillion nefarious freedom coupons three squillion holy shit dude sounds like a lot can i turn myself in or alive but preferably alive so i can have some fun with them first my elaborate spy network indicates that they'll be at blizzard and savali very soon so get to it so there's a bounty on our head now? If those Lombaxes are listening, just know that I'm going to crush you into dust. And then I'll blast that dust into a sun. And then I'll dump that sun into... Great. Now I'm on two nefarious hit lists. And he knows where we are going. Honestly, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Our nefarious is a bit of a joke. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so it tells us all the things we need to do. Bronze cup optional. Become the bronze champion for bolts and prizes. Help Trudy. The Morts could use some help with their pet Trudy. There's reported resistance activity at the factory. So we could do some optional stuff. I also like that it shows us how many of the collectibles on the raid. I don't know if I noticed that the first time that we played. Like a month or so ago. But it shows us, like, whatever that top one is, we haven't collected it at all yet. We got one of the golden bolts, and then we got the one, I'm guessing that's, like, outfit piece. And then, yeah, as we scroll through these, it shows us for each world. That's really nice, man. really helps if you want to go back through and, like, collect and do everything. Uh, I think for now, we're just going to focus on the main story, though, at the moment. So, find the Dimensionator blueprints. Ratchet heads to the Dimensional Archives to learn how to build a new Dimensionator. Yeah, we'll go to Savali, I guess. Out of trouble. Which uh, is... Probably, I mean, Nefarious just said he knew we were going to be there, so there may be a Hitman or two waiting for us. But that's okay. Nothing we can't take. Uh... Find the Prophet Gary. Are you gold now? Is it gold? Uh, Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's got a nice gold sheen to parts of it. It's still like... Made of steel or whatever it looks like, but with gold accent. Very cool. Uh, okay, so what powers do we have? Since we don't have... Uh, clank. I mean, we can still hover, because we got some boots. 
We can do we can do the dodge thing still. That's good. So really, it seems like the the power between the two of them is essentially the same, and all the weapons are the same and everything too, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So nothing too hard there. One rare titanium already, man. That was super easy. Are you sure it's that rare? Um, yeah, we don't have any of that shit. I mean, I guess we did just pick up the one rare titanium, so we could have bought a new upgrade or whatever, hey, but... Uh, yeah, weird question. You wouldn't happen to know anything about building a Dimensionator, would you? Ratchet? Ratchet! Gary! <laughs> your... your reputation precedes you. Yeah. You'll need what? to go to the interdimensional archives. My apprentice can help you. But, uh... Town under attack? How did you know? <laughs> no, no, check it out. I think I still remember how to stop an invasion. So wait, does he just know of us because of the whole nefarious thing? Or does he know of us because of some other reason? Secrets? No secrets. That's upsetting. Oh, I forgot we can wall jump. Oh, God, that was almost bad. <laughs> oh, we're dead. <laughs> Perfect timing, room. Just in time to watch us die. <laughs> Don't worry. You didn't really miss anything anyways. We've just been uh, messing around. The only lore bit you missed was that there is now a hit out on both the Lombaxes from Dr. Nefarious. And he's really enjoying his tenure as ruler of the... The universe, dimension, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, nothing important really. <laughs> sniper bot? Not mine. Wait, can we like uh how do we throw? There's like a crouch button somewhere. Oh, that's how we get into the menu to get all the diagonal ones. Okay. Oh, don't do that. I forget how to crouch. Oh. Uh, that's cool. Shows us our objective marker. That's always helpful. Thank goodness and figures, but which doc put it out? Uh, the one from our world, not the one from the other world. How do we... Oh, man. How do we crouch and throw our shit? I don't remember. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been so long. I should have just started over from the beginning. No, I, I don't want to, but... I, I can't remember what the hell we're doing. Can we kill it? GG. It was just a robot, right? I'm sure he doesn't mind being blown into bits. Do you have a nest over here or something that's spawning you? You do. I still can't get over how pretty this freaking game is, by the way. Like, it's insane, man. It just looks so fucking good. Okay. Makes me wonder where the other one is and how he's going to react to the imposter nefarious. Same, to be honest, but it seems like, from what I remember, he's been missing for quite a while, right? Like, doing whatever it is he's doing. All right, there's... Ah, okay, we, we go into the first person aiming, and then we just use square to, to throw. That makes sense. Got it. Speaking of... Uh, I, I don't know how that's speaking of rare things, but hey, we got more rare titanium. <laughs> more upgrades for us, man. I'm just trying to collect all of the nuts and bolts and shit that I can, because... We, uh, there's two new items, or two new weapons out there that we haven't been able to afford yet, and that is not okay. Ah, you dick. I don't appreciate that. I'm just over here trying to collect some nuts and bolts, and you're trying to take a chunk out of my ass. Like, not cool, man. That's what I remember, too. Something tells me that the final boss is going to be both with Lomboxes fighting side by side. Uh, honestly, that sounds like a pretty good guess, man. 100%. Like, I don't know, because I avoided all spoilers for the game, but it kind of seems like that's the only way they could end the game, you know? <laughs> like, with all the build-up, with there being two of them and two Lombaxes and all that BS. I'm significantly more scared of this world's Dr. Nefarious than I am my home world, or dimension, universe, whatever's. 
though, because, like, my home one was useless, essentially. The one on this universe actually did kind of take over the universe, <laughs> so... You know, a little bit more scary. Then... Might as well destroy these other bots real quick. Uh, we're stuck. Yes, so much destruction, explosions everywhere. Hold on, we have a better gun for dealing with big stuff like this, don't we? We have the Negatron Collider, yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh man, I love that giant freaking missile blast, essentially, like. We don't have a whole lot of ammo, though. I should probably be saving that a little bit. What were the other weapons again? The Enforcer, that's like a shotgun, right? Yeah, that's close range. And then we had a zip line or something, too, right? We can, like, zip through those portals. How did... Okay, L1. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Where is the... I hear... Shots. There it is. That dude. Uh, you know what? This seems like an excellent use for the Negatron Collider. Bye-bye! <laughs> Whoa, you survived that? I'm honestly surprised. I thought one Negatron Collider shot would be enough to kill that thing. But I guess it's a little more powerful than I thought. Bye-bye. <laughs> all the explosions and particle effects and everything, too. It just all comes together. It's like a perfect freaking mix, man. Oh. Where, oh, where are the rest? I mean, this world's nefarious succeeded. He's already better by a lot. Yeah, that's basically how I feel, too. Either that or this world's Lombax is just terrible, but I refuse to believe that, man, because she seems pretty kick-ass. <laughs> All right, what are we missing? There is, okay, there's a chest. Well, not chest, but boxes. Some good old nuts and bolts down here. Can we actually, like, climb the ladder? We kind of can. <laughs> I don't know if it was meant to be climbed, but <laughs> you can kind of stand on the edges of the, the rungs on the ladder there. It technically works. Whether it was by design or not, though, you know. Up for debate, maybe. I don't think you are going to be able to do anything to me. Those archives. Ooh, I feel like this is going to be something eventually, man. Like, whether a bridge will come up or, or some sort of vehicle that will take us from side to side, but... You're about to say this world's Lombax is basically leading the resistance, so no way does she suck. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she <laughs> she's very badass. Oh, racetrack? Yeah, that actually doesn't seem too far-fetched. Because there are uh, races and stuff in some of the other Ratchet and Clank games, so. Uh, no interdimensional anom an an anomalies. <laughs> oh, wait, is that... This dimension's Clank? Who are you? Sorry, I... You look so familiar. I'm Ratchet. I'm here to find, I think it was, Gary's apprentice. I need to build a dimensionator? Oh, dear. Well, there's little I can do, seeing as my archives are walking away. Hmm. How do I get that? Wait, so that is the archive oh, thing? <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe we could... He's so cute. <laughs> I do not make a great partner. Hmm. I forgot this? to change... Things go badly, which they won't. We are not... We go our separate ways. No questions asked. Just chatting at this point. Team? I mean, you gotta get back there somehow, right? You're not gonna do it on your own. This universe is clank. <laughs> I don't know if it appreciates just being attached to your back like that. Hey! Hover boots. Okay. So, wait. Oh! Nice. Okay. So that's... That's, I'm assuming, what we're going to do with, like, that that little rampy thingy, right? <laughs> we're just going to, we're going to build up a bunch of speed and then just freaking zoom across. 
He's adorable, but holy shit. <laughs> Apprentice is so adorable, too. If there's one thing they're good at in these games, man, it's making things look freaking adorable. So hold on. Yeah, no, this definitely looks like we're going to be able to jump over it at some point. But I don't see... I don't know. I don't see any way to gain up speed, so maybe not. Maybe not that one. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> remember before when we were talking about it kind of being like Spyro? With the, uh, the, the mechanics? What game was it that we were talking about feeling kind of like Spyro with the way the, the movement handled and whatnot? Anyways, regardless, that's essentially exactly what that is right there, man. <laughs> Whenever we hit that, that boost, that's basically Spyro hitting the boost pads and, and charging at things. Makes you want to get a PS5, but they're still too expensive. They are. They're very expensive, and then made even worse by the fact that they uh, are so hard to get a hold of right now, right? Like, if they weren't being scalped like crazy, and gamers could actually get a hold of them, 500 is still a lot of money, but doable? Oh, nice. <laughs> very cool. Hold R1 and press L2 repeatedly to accelerate. Oh, what? We can, like, skate with them? That's freaking sick. So, Katie? We'll just call her Katie. How about that? That is cool. Oh, my lord. I love these boots, man. Wow. <laughs> Temple to Badlands, really? <laughs> so, I'm just... I'm just having fun here, freaking skating around with these things. S freaking rocket boosters. Oh, we can do tricks? <laughs> oh my lord. This is amazing. Okay, so... I'm assuming to, to unlock that we need to hit all these buttons in a certain amount of time. That shouldn't be too hard to do. Did we, did we get it? I think we got it already. <laughs> yep. I saw the, the booster up there, and I thought maybe we would have to do that, but... What? Nope. Uh, we're out of ammo. Uh, switch weapons. What is this one? Oh, that's the one. That is the shatter bomb. Fungus! <laughs> Help me, Mr. Fungi. <laughs> I love the Mr. Fungi. Shotguns for the win. We have actually taken a lot of damage, so I need to be a little more careful, maybe. Worth it. <laughs> we collected the unobtainium. Uh, so, okay, so we have temples suddenly. So this turned into a Legend of Zelda game. All of a sudden, we can attack while we're... While we're going around, so that's nice. <laughs> Look at his face. He looks so serious. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. That looks so fun with the boots. It is. It feels so good, man. And it's really smart because, I mean, this looks like a, march, a much larger level than anything they've done previously in Ratchet & Clank games. So it makes a lot of sense for them to do... So oh, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, GG. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, how far back did that take us? Oh, okay. So we're still on the main platform. Did we collect the raritanium already? Yeah, okay. I forget how to... I forget how to, to grab those those walls. I, I also forget where the hell that was even at. We were going this way, right? Kind of around the corner here. Kind of reminds you of skating in Jet Set Future. Have we done any of the rail grinding yet? Because there actually is rail grinding in, in Ratchet and Clank. Like, that is a thing. Oh, it's not, it's not activated. Uh, we're gonna try this again and probably die. Okay, yep. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> like I said, we're gonna die. We'll come back to that at some other point. Let's, uh, go to one of the temples, shall we? Yes, but not with hover boots. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I can't argue with you there. It's got to be a little different now that we got these freaking rocket-powered boots, man. 
Even Ratchet's going woohoo and shit, like. Wait, how'd you get over here? You're ready to enter the mountain temple. Nice. Let's go. Well, Weren't you over there? How'd you get over here? Are you magic? Does that weird eye thing you got give you magical powers? You're ready for it, I'm sure. Best of luck. I hate Slash Doom. Me too, man. I, I also hate Slash Doom. Katie. Croco Dude. <laughs> what? Uh, we're going this way. Because there's something over here. I'm assuming it's just one of those, like, side things that we can do. Maybe. Uh, Wait, is that it down there? No. There it is. I don't think this is the way of the objective. I guess we can press that button to find out. I mean, we're technically a little bit closer, right? Oh, here we go. So, okay, it doesn't look like it, it changes the, the hovering, sadly. The the grinding, rail grinding, whatever. No no rocket-powered boots on the rails, guys. At least not yet. <laughs> is, is that a Wombat shrine? The Lorb? What the hell is a Lorb? I'm guessing it's a Lombax orb, but like... Listen to it. Yeah, let's listen to it. You found a mysterious lore. These artifacts contain voice recordings from the past. What? Dude, okay, so we're going to figure out some lore of uh, the Lombax. <laughs> Lombax lore through an orb. Lombax lore orb. <laughs> Someone on Savali will reward you handsomely for collecting them. Well, it's probably going to be uh, Gary, I'm assuming. Are we about to hear Ratchet's dad? Maybe. Well, I guess it would probably be the other ones dad right because <laughs> you know ratchet not from this dimension so i had a weird meeting this morning katie came in apparently the council liked my mapping work oh that is very quiet they want me to expand it by mapping every dimension in existence yeah that might be impossible so somebody was tasked with with uh mapping all the dimensions or whatever that's cool but okay so that's as high as it goes Ugh. what's midnight mode reduce the range between quietest and loudest sounds not available when audio output device is set to headphones eh, neat mono really why is there still mono available in this day and age is that like maybe that's a uh, accessibility thing or something thank the gods for subtitles i know it's super quiet and i don't know why like it was really quiet for me too i can turn up my capture volume a little bit more but not a whole lot. I have it maxed out in OBS already. Let me turn up the actual capture card audio, though. Uh, now there's a really annoying buzzing for me, but it's not coming through for you guys, so... And then I'll just turn down, like, music. You know what? Let me put it... Instead of on 100, let me put it on, like, 90 or something. We'll go... We'll try out 90 and then see how that is, and then we'll go from there. Turn down music a couple steps, sound effects, UI, but leave the speech turned up. Let's try that. And then... See if someone knows it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get there. Um, Collectibles? Yes. So, I had a weird meeting this morning. Still quiet. Apparently, the council liked my mapping work on Savali enough that they want me to expand it. By mapping every dimension in existence. Yeah, that might be impossible. Okay, so that works. But, I mean, I have to listen to it a very annoying buzzing sound, but you guys don't. Now I just need to change the game volume around a little bit so we're not dying. Drowning in the sound. Hold on. Uh, audio... Well, leave master volume on 10. I don't know why I turned that down at all. Speech, whatever, sound effects, UI, hit confirm. Okay, so hopefully that's okay. We'll, we'll try that out. I'll just have to remember to turn it back down anytime we're not playing this game. Because, <laughs> okay, let's try that one more. Or no, I guess it played just fine. Okay. I'll just have to keep my eye on the bar a little bit. I'm sure you guys will let me know. Oh, yeah. See, like, that is way too loud. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nope. 
so sound effects need to go down more. Speech. I don't know why those recordings are so much quieter than everything else in the game. That's annoying. We might just have to rely on subtitles, man. Yeah. We're just gonna have to put it back to how it was and rely on subtitles, because that is, uh... That is too much. It doesn't make any sense at all. It really doesn't. So. Oh, well. Sorry, guys. Subtitles it is. Reset all that to default. And we should be good at this point. Okay. And what were we doing now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we were trying to get to the top. We believe the Lombax is used, and I see... Thank you anyway. Uh, that's weird. Her voice clip just got cut off. You believe the Lombax is what? I, <laughs> I kind of wanted to know the end of that voice clip. That's annoying as shit. Uh, okay. I think we've already gone too slow. I didn't. I didn't realize we were gonna have to zoom. Oh no. Okay, we, we're okay. Uh. Uh, bro. <laughs> okay, we were, we were, we were too fast for the freaking platform, apparently. Wait, is Apprentice a girl? I think so. It's hard to tell for sure, obviously. But, uh, I mean, the abbreviation for her name would be Katie, right? And Katie's traditionally a, a female name, as far as I'm aware, but... Krager bear found? What the hell is a Krager bear? Stream sucks at gaming example one. <laughs> wow, that hurts, Rue. That hurts. <laughs> I was too fast for the game is what actually happened there, okay? You can't blame me. That was totally on the game. I like these trees. These trees are pretty. I need to turn down my personal headphones now that the game's a little bit louder. Look out. Ah, dinosaurs! <laughs> Weird mutated dinosaur uh, turtle things. Oh. Ow! Not cool, little dinosaur dudes. Hey, we leveled up our Shatter Bomb. Why are we moving in slow motion? I guess whenever we get an upgrade, it must uh, put us in slow motion mode. Completely forgot about that, too. Can we... Can we go up here? Mm, probably not. Shark dinos. There you go. That's what they are. Man, I am so glad they added this mechanic. Okay. Uh, now you can say I suck. Oh, no. I still don't remember how to do this. Oh, we just had to touch it? So we can. All right, so we we know how to do that now. But the problem with those wall thingies is they are just very slow compared to the boots, right? <laughs> like we can use them easily enough, I guess. You just have to. You just have to touch it. But my lord, did that kill our momentum? Oh, rail. Oh, crap. You have to, you have to hold L1. <laughs> okay. We can make it. We can make it. Yeah, there we go. There's definitely going to be racing with this stuff here at some point, man. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. They're going to have absolutely add some racing mechanics. Kills the fun. I mean, it's still fun, but yeah. It would have been nice if you carried your momentum into those walls a little bit. More rare titanium. Rare, rare titanium. Who was, uh, are these? What are these? My sensors are barely functional. Oh, no. Do we have our Negatron Collider? Yes, we do. Hi, friends. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who would ever shoot at you? 
Were we supposed to like sneak over or something? That's no fun. Nope. <laughs> okay, the Negatron Collider is not doing as much damage as I expected. Very cool, but of course it's probably also not like fully upgraded. Another one down. I mean, it's still powerful. Don't get me uh, uh don't get me wrong. But that weapon right there, just our normal blaster. I think actually does more DPS. <laughs> Take me to that terminal so I can free the others. Now with that said though, the the basic blaster that we have is fully upgraded and the Negatron Collider definitely is not. Uh why am I walking around when we can freaking slide around, man? Any more boxes? Yeah, can we just charge through them? We can. Excellent. Let's just charge ourselves directly into a wall. Good job, me. Can we just do this? Just <laughs> just ice skate for the rest of the game? Oh no. <laughs> a Zeta virus. I cannot access the terminal without risking contracting it. You'll be I'm fine. I believe in you. Take a look at it. Here, let me see. Oh, glitch? I don't even remember glitch. Oh, that's the little like uh spider robot thing we got, right? Give yourself brain damage. Hey, no worries. We got plenty of that as is. <laughs> Those poor monks. Oh. Okay. Trying to remember all the controls for this, too. So we have right triggers like a gun. Left trigger are missiles. Did right trigger do something? No. Okay. Right trigger just... Like, they, they kind of appeared at the same time I pressed the right trigger, our little missile friends. So I thought maybe... uh. <laughs> Maybe the missiles were doing that, but... Or maybe the right trigger, I mean, was doing that. Uh, how do we get rid of the shield? Do we go over here? What is this? Out <laughs> to blitz infectors? Oh, is that what our little missiles are called? Blitz infectors? Glitch is hecking adorable, too. Why are all the robots in this game adorable? Because why wouldn't they be adorable? Uh, okay, so he, he's he got a bunch of weird virus buddies. That's nice. Um, and that one's, like, shooting at us. We got this. No worries. Uh, whatever your name was again. That nest is done. Is the other... Where's the, the, the terminal? It's up top. Can y'all, like... Can y'all come up here? Doesn't look like... Okay, this is... This feels weird. <laughs> the way the world warps around and everything as the spider bot moves is making me just a wee bit nauseous, not gonna lie, but it's really cool how it moves around. But yeah, makes me just a wee bit sick. Where are the rest of you? We are going the wrong way entirely, aren't we? Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bits. Thank you so much, love. Um, How the hell do we get over there? Ah, here we go. Up the wall, through the tube. Up the wall, through the tube. Don't worry, Glitch. Everything is going to be okay. Oh. We haven't even taken a single point of damage yet. You are fine, B. What was that thing? A health box? Huh. Okay. Not sure we really needed it, but not gonna say no to free health either, you know? Uh, bruh, can you stop spawning these little demons? They're not very nice. Noodle is at work, so I don't know how much she can actually hear or talk. Uh, where is the. There it is. Aw, oh, that sucks. Yeah. It does. The paycheck's nice, though. <laughs> Maybe bl uh, missile. Just call them missiles. <laughs> like that's what they are, bruh. Bye bye. So that should be it, right? We cleared the system of the virus. <laughs> I love the the little display on the front of it. Makes me think of the little uh. 
Ah, uh, shit. If Mr. Noodle could hear, she would remember what they're called. The Vector? I think they're called Vector Robots. Super cute, man. I love those little things, and I want one so bad. <laughs> are they are they stoner monks troops find the other temples yet not sure but we'll let brother gary know you rescued us good luck sister oh wait so they can just they can just summon interdimensional portals anytime they want what the hell are these things dude <laughs> i they just they smoke so much weed they can they can move between dimensions now i think is what it is they'll be all right we're here Press R3 to review your objectives. Okay. There's got to be a quicker way back, right? Like, can we, can we like, hop through one of these portals so, or something? KT Why the hell did they use that to escape then? That's, uh, it's actually a very fair point, man. That feels more like a title. Let's try some out. Wait, do these, like, respawn or something? Uh, I got it. Sunshine. Sunshine? <laughs> You're yellow? I do not think so. I think it's going to end up being KT. Uh, just, just a guess. Oh, there's a line. Get on the line. There we go. Oh, I thought we were going to miss that for sure, man. We're going to try this again. We got this. Come on. Oh, man. my best friend. Oh, do, wait, did we hit the button? Were we not hitting the buttons? Oh, okay, we just missed the last one. Ah, oh, I was going to be so mad there for a minute. <laughs> we got another, another lorb. Another lombax or, lore, blah, 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 words. Lombax lore orb. Uh, can we listen to it? Is it not going to let us just automatically listen to it like the last one? That's dumb. Uh, no, I want, oh, wait. It can act, we can actually see what they look like. I didn't realize that. Um, hold on. So we got gold. Ooh, is that bubblegum? I kind of like bubblegum. We're going to do bubblegum. I'm assuming that's what the second to last one is. Bubblegum it is. No, not default. Bubblegum. And then... How do we move? Collectibles. R2. Entry okay. 2. I thought about it over lunch. I don't think it's that impossible. I'll just need the Dimensionator, which Caden loaned me. Ooh. Uh, you're in three weeks, which has already been approved, and to never sleep again. Work starts tomorrow. That all seems uh, reasonable. Just never sleep again. I, I still, I love this. The portal technology. It reminds me a bit of the portal mod on Minecraft. If the Dorseman was here, he would know exactly what I'm talking about. I forget the actual name for the the mod, but essentially it makes Nether Portals instant. So there's no loading screen or anything like that, and you can just hop between them back and forth. This is why people are protesting for higher wages. <laughs> uh, who needs sleep anyways, says Nate. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I personally like me a little bit of sleep every now and then, man. Hell yes. So much speed. <laughs> I'm sure there's like stuff to do and collect around here. As much fun as it is to just go freaking zoom everywhere. He always has my back. No matter what. Where is he now? Helping me stop Nefarious. But we had to split up. Oh. I am sorry. Tis okay. What is this ship? Oh. Maybe don't go in the mysterious liquid there. Oh, they're nefarious troopers. Okay. That reminds me of a conversation last semester about working too much. It was hilarious. What was it? <laughs> oh, I guess our, our, our chance to get a drop on them kind of ended as soon as the conversation ended. <laughs> Oops. Uh, if y'all just want to die, that'd be perfectly fine, honestly. Nah, nope. Keep your lasers to yourselves, please. We need more ammo for this thing is what we need. Like, uh, more capacity. 
But sadly, it's already fully upgraded, so I don't think we're going to be able to unlock that. But this is by far, like, my favorite weapon from an actual using standpoint. Hey, it seems like it just has the most, uh... What, uh, words? Words! The, the widest range of uses, man. It's like clearing out big groups like this? Yep, perfect. Clearing out the tough guys? Perfect. <laughs> like, it's just the perfect mix. Although, Mr. Fungi is a lot of fun. Just, <laughs> just, I do really like him, man. Sorry you're working, gotta support the household. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you working definitely helps, but I think you forget that I also work a full-time job. Actually, I say also, I'm the only one that works a full-time job. Uh, we'll take some rare, rare, rare titanium. So you're trying not to make this too long, but your professor was making a point about how some companies will offer a crap ton of money, but basically have no life otherwise. He asked us what we sacrificed first and foremost, and the answer was sleep. A guy in my class named Raven said, I was thinking of another S. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I, uh... I think I would just sacrifice the money and not work there. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> I'm assuming he meant sex, but... <laughs> oh. oh, nope, that's not what I want. This is what I want. I just wanted to, I just wanted to pull out the Mr. Fun Guy again, because, you know, he's so much fun to have around. He is a fun guy. Ha. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'll just, I'll see myself out now. <laughs> Uh, so... Any other just junk laying around here for us anywhere? To, to collect? Somebody should really patch all these random holes in the terrain. I guess we'll just go ahead and go to the next temple. I'm sure there's more secrets hidden around here somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to spend all day looking for them right now. Although I could totally see myself 100%ing this game at some point. Ba ba! Little shotgun to the face will help uh, fix that attitude of y'all, y'all's real quick. A little bit of fun guide as well. Teach you some manners. <laughs> All the particles, man. Tis great. We are the last class of the day, and that was the first class you had. Really made it be up later in college. Worth it for all the last we had. I had a lot of good times in college, too, to be honest. I kind of miss it sometimes. I didn't miss the having to get up at, uh, you know, like 7 o'clock in the morning. But other than that, some of the classes, obviously, I didn't really like either. Like, uh... Just regular math classes, for instance, were meh. I didn't hate them, but it wasn't a, a huge fan of them either. And then the, the like, civics history style classes that we were forced to take. Didn't care for those much either. Nefarious Juggernaut. Okay, so we got a, we got a boss. Oh, okay, yep. Got a big boss. Uh, oh, but he's, he's destroying his own dudes for us, though. That's nice of him. Uh, let's get the, the sprinkler action going, man. Freeze everybody real quick. And then... I guess the... Probably the... Well, no, we got, we got ammo for our pistol! Blast the hell out of them all! Oh, oh, okay. Try not to die, though, while we're doing it. Topiary sprinkler leveled up! That, uh... <laughs> that slow-mo actually really came in handy right there. Yeah, we really can't take much more of this, can we? We are we are hurt. Is there any more health packs around here somewhere? Oh, we dead. <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> That's how that went down. Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, let's uh. 
Oh no, let's use the blast pistol. I like the blaster pistol. Ooh. So wait, if it's worse than you thought, what did you think happened? Aren't y'all supposed to be like the, the keepers of knowledge in this galaxy? Health, please. Thank you. Oh, that's one of my... <laughs> Tried to kill my own fun guy, man. Oh, I see chests. How do we get up there? Is there no portal? Oh, there's a jumpy pad. I mean, I guess... I guess that'll work. Ooh, something over here we missed last time, too. What is this? I see some rare, rare tanium. And... And nothing. Just a weird statue. Or not statue. Platform. Plus three rare tanium. Holy. A nice little deposit there. Alright. There's no, no avoiding it, I suppose. We gotta go try to not get our asses handed to us again. Got all of our health back and everything at least though, so. Alright, get uh Mr. Fungi equipped. Get Mr. Fungi going for us. And then Shotgun. <laughs> and then we gotta try to keep an eye on Big Dude. If we can stay like on the other side of him until we clear out some of these other guys. I think we'll be in a little bit better position. Oh, out of ammo. Okay. Oh, that was close. Will you though? Uh, I didn't realize those were fun guys we were throwing. I need, I need a different weapon. <laughs> Shatter bomb will work. Get me out of here, please. Oh, okay. Oh, too many lasers. Health, please. Thank you. Okay, you know what? The missile attacks, I don't mind so much. If you want to do that a little bit more, that's actually perfectly fine. Uh, okay, we're out of ammo for that, too. What do we got? We got the Negatron Collider. Do we want to? You know what? No, hold on. Topiary Sprinkler. Freeze him. And then Negatron Collider. Take that, Juggernaut. Oh, okay. You took that pretty well. <laughs> Where are you going? Ew. Big laser. Big laser bad. Different weapon. We got... Let's get another Mr. Fun guy down, man. I can't. I can't escape. I'm stuck. Uh, I don't like this attack that you're doing. Oh, we got this, Nate. No worries, man. Blaster pistol. I am not scared at all. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Dunzo. Freaking blow up, you piece of crap. You hunk of junk. <laughs> that was excellent. Okay. Some ammo over here. Collect all the ammo and stuff, please. Any other stuff that we missed? Anything up here? Just a normal chest. Ooh. More chests. Excellent. Excellent. That area that we don't know what it's about. I think that's everything now. We miss anything else? Oh, wait. There's a... Why is there a swinging platform here? What's that about? Oh, we can just swing from side to side. Yeah, I mean, that's just another way to get around, I guess. That's fair. Um, All right. This system is quite old and intricate. Okay, It'll and? Take some time to disable the force field. That's fine. Take as long as you need. I'll handle these guys. Oh, shoot. Okay. I didn't realize we were doing stuff. I was... <laughs> I was getting a drink. Won't spoil, obviously, but Katie's honestly kind of adorable. <laughs> oh, wait, are there people on you? Or, no, okay, it's just the, the lasers. Well, look, I'm trying to deal with the lasers. There are too many lasers. 
get some fungi out to help us out a little bit maybe and then i guess just the blast pistol would probably be the best thing in this case oh thank god we collected some health we definitely needed it so many shots i forgot that we have the the ability to like teleport through stuff we are almost out of ammo we are out of ammo uh, what do we have that's also long range? I mean, we could throw down some more Mr. Fungi. And then, I guess we just have to go in there with the Enforcer, man. Just give right into the mix of it, man. Halfway done? Maybe speed it up a little bit there, bud. Nice. Enforcer level three. You don't actually work that much. Stream is the breadwinner. <laughs> I'm glad that she actually admitted it. <laughs> Instead of just lying in stream like she normally does. <laughs> but no, I mean, she does help out a lot. Don't let her... Don't let her give me all the glory here. Oh, God. Coming, coming, and coming, coming, and... Is that it? Nope, they're still spawning in. Okay. Katie, are you almost done back there? <laughs> okay, that kind of hurt. Uh, Negatron Collider? Negatron Collider. I don't like you, Mr. Mobile Sniper, or whatever the hell you're called. How do you take so many shots? Took a full round of Negatron Collider ammo, like, my lord. You don't need to be that powerful, Mobile Sniper. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Uh, I need health bad, man. <laughs> Thanks for the Enforcer ammo, that's not what I needed. Uh, out of ammo. Fungi, get down there. <laughs> Do some work. What else do we have left? We are out of almost everything. I really don't want to get down there with my freaking... <laughs> with my, uh... With my wrench. Oh, the fungi did it. Is that it? Are we safe? Oh, thank God. That was close, Katie. Really called it close there, man. Sister and Raja guy, you're welcome. Can we jump through the portal, please? I want to know where they're going. What are they doing? One more temple. Only one more. We'll find them. Ratchet, bro. <laughs> Free the monks at the Badlands temples. That's the last one. Okay. I'm sure Badlands will be said, perfectly fine. Should not try to give me a nickname. Or be my my friend. Why not? You're being too hard on yourself. Seriously. You no. We just met. I know Gary trusts you. The monks like you. Maybe give the whole friendship thing a chance. I will consider it. What'd she do? I'm guessing that she accidentally did something did at some point. Come to this dimension together? Yeah. And that's why she's so hard on herself. With someone else now. A new best friend? Oh, I need a drink. Actually, it's been an over over an hour. I think it's probably about time we take a break. I didn't realize how much uh <laughs> how much time we had spent on the game, man. It's just blowing through it, having so much fun. But yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and switch over to the uh the break scene. I'm going to stand up and stretch, get a drink, maybe blow my nose a little bit since it's a little stuffy, and then we'll be back with more for Another uh, couple hours, at least. You can spoil it if you want, because it makes your attitude more understood. No, nah, it's fine. We'll figure it out eventually. But all right, be right back, guys. With or stuck, stuck without, I guess is more like it. Yeah. So with these guys here, we can just kind of throw a bomb at them and kill them easily enough, or we can just kind of crouch and throw our wrench at them. A couple wrench hits will take them out real, real nice as well. The bombs, though, obviously do a bit of a better job. They pack a bit more punch than, than just hitting them with a wrench does. <laughs> I 
And I don't know how far anybody else has ever gotten into this game outside of myself or Nate, I'm sure, since he said that he's played a fair bit of it. But the game gets a bit wacky the farther you go along. There's some wacky weapons and situations. And the developers always kind of have some fun with the names of the games and whatnot, too. Like, this one's just called Ratchet and Clank. But then later on in the series, they have stuff like Up Your Arsenal and stuff like that. That's, uh... <laughs> like I said, they just like to have a bit of fun with it. A little bit of childish humor, maybe, but I'm not complaining. Interesting. Looks like Hungry is around. Hey, Chuck, I saw some chicken. Can't go on in search of someone who could be of assistance in solving the killer system. Do you know where I might find Chuck? Sorry. Yeah, he's on the radio every night. Hey, man, Chuck, I used to rob the streets of fellowship and stuff anyway. Hello, citizens. My race of law has killed foes. How is that against the super priest or the doctor and poison that we are no longer able to dwell here? But I, Chairman Dread, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components of science. So, what is this new world, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly know. We will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you, Wabush. Chuck, have you no plans to take your whiny, sniveling, snub-nosed population all the line to A lot, a lot of fun little humor here in the Ratchet and Clank games. Oh man. I need to start remembering to eat a little bit of food before we do these live streams. Because <laughs> it always ends up just evolving to me thinking about food the entire time I'm live streaming. I'm, I mean, I'm generally a, a pretty hungry person, so that definitely <laughs> doesn't help. But uh, I also forgot to eat any real food today, so that that doesn't help at all. You know, like I, I should have, even if it was something small, like some chicken nuggets or, or something, should have just ate something before starting the stream. But uh, I guess it's too late now. We are here and I'm not stopping <laughs> for food. Although I do have... Uh, I do have some crackers and things that I've been munching on slowly. Just so <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty close to something else. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't mean it in a bad way, so we're gonna let it through. But I can I can see why because it looks like somebody is trying to get around the uh, <laughs> the the uh, the restrictions that would be in there. There you go. Chicky Nuggies. <laughs> That's like my go-to for just quick, easy to make, easy to eat food. Right? Because we've had this conversation before. Um, but I'm a weirdo that likes my chicken nuggets in the microwave. So I'll just, uh, you know, pop them in there for a couple minutes, flip them over, cook them for a couple more minutes, and then they're done. So it's like the easiest thing in the world for me to, to make and eat. So I need to turn down the game just a little bit, I think. Uh, why did I close the sound settings? Sound. That was dumb. And now it's on my monitor that I don't have pulled up. That's not helpful at all. Settings. There we go. Sound control panel. And that also defaulted to the, <laughs> to the monitor that I don't have pulled up. Oh, uh, this is going well. Okay, let's switch back over to this computer mode and not console mode. Move this over here and for Christ's sakes, don't close it this time. Just just leave it up. You know you're going to end up needing it again at some point. So why why even close it? There we go. Oh, and I closed it. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm a I'm a professional. I'm good at this. No worries. 
I feel like using this weapon is a little bit overkill for these giant overgrown leech mosquitoes or whatever the hell you want to call them, but hold R1 to hover. Why is it telling us that right now? That's weird. Got another Lombax lore orb. Collectibles. Bro, you're lazy. That's how you do your pizza rolls. I actually prefer pizza rolls in the microwave too. <laughs> 100%. I actually prefer them in the microwave too. Um dimension today. Pretty standard stuff, except the colors there were so vivid like whoa. Uh, and there were these creatures. One of them even looked like a lombax, but but he had smaller ears, a mask and a cane and I think he was pulling some kind of heist. Whatever it was, it looked cool. Oh. That's a uh, Easter egg for for Sly Cooper, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's a Easter egg for Sly Cooper. But uh, anyways, yeah, no, 100%. That's how I prefer my pizza rolls. I The soggy ones are actually my favorite ones. I don't like them crispy. Like, at all. <laughs> I know it's weird, but that's... that's it is what it is, man. That's how I like them. I can't help it. Like the one, you're always the one that ends up triggering the mod. You pretty much are always the one that ends up triggering the mod, too. There was a guy, a uh, ghost, that used to stop in and trigger it the when I had the other mod up all the time. And he would get into shouting matches with the mod, essentially. It was <laughs> the, the computer mod, not one of the real ones. But that would have been an issue. <laughs> you're about to say that's definitely a reference? Yeah, no, it's gotta be, man. And I'm pretty sure Sly Cooper... Kind of look like a Lombax. They kind of look like raccoons. But with a, a mask on, going around stealing stuff, it had to be Slide Cooper. You have quite the legacy to live up to. Jump! Uh, What are these? Are they angry? Uh, okay, they don't seem angry. Ooh, I say... As they start to appear angry. <laughs> Where are the rest of the switches? Oh, did we miss one somewhere? No, okay, that was all of them. Three more rare tanium. We should probably upgrade soon. Now, if I hit one of these guys, I'm assuming they're all going to get angry with me. But <laughs> there's a part of me that just really wants to do it. I mean, this isn't like an RPG or anything. They probably don't have drops, per se. But the RPG player in me is like, you have to kill everything you find. Because you never know what you're going to get. Also, hello you. Do we have to shoot you? Okay, it doesn't seem like I can shoot you while I'm going full speed. Maybe we just have to get close enough that we can latch on to it. Oh, nice. Now what? Hey! Okay, so that's all we had to do. Nice! So we got another gold bolt. So that should have unlocked another thing for us. Uh, bolt replacements. Oh, that's kind of neat. So we can collect orbs. Uh, I don't know what those orbs are from. Are those from Jack and Daxter, maybe? Are those meant to look like the, the legacy orbs or whatever they're called? Uh, rupees, which is cool. Overcharge? I don't know what that's from. And then gold coins. Coins, orbs, rubies, and overcharge. No, we, we want the we want the rubies. Let's collect some rubies, man, instead of bolts. No, stop going to default. Why did they make triangle default? A lot of games that I've been playing recently have uh, triangle as the back button. So this game, using it as the reset to default button is really screwing me up. I really like these, like, inconsequential, really, at the end of the day, changes that you can make to the game. Stuff like changing the look of my my ratchet to, to the bubblegum flavor here. And and collecting rubies instead of nuts and bolts. Just like, look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. I really like that. Like, at the end of the day, it's not, it doesn't really do anything to the game, right? So why not just have fun stuff like that? It reminds me a lot of cheats in old games. Right, you used to be able to go in and do things like turn on big head mode or or uh, 
I mean, I'm, I'm having trouble thinking of any others at the moment, but <laughs> point is, just stupid little things like that. It's dangerous to go alone, take this. I love the original Zelda game. I've looked at some, like, more recent reviews from people playing the original Zelda game, and I guess a lot of people actually weren't a big fan of it. At least, like, modern uh, gamers. And I fail to understand why. I think it's an absolutely amazing game. The first Legend of Zelda. Now, the second one... <laughs> I've never beaten the second one, so I don't have a strong opinion on it. But I've heard completely mixed things on it. One of the streamers that I actually really enjoy, Grand Pooh Bear, um, I'm pretty sure it was him, was talking about how he actually really likes it now that he's played through it. Um, but before he had played through it, he didn't really understand it. And like most people just kind of thought it was trash. Um, oh, shoot, man. So I'm wondering if it would be the same for me, like if I actually spent the time to play it, if maybe I would enjoy it a little bit more. I feel like that's probably going to be the case, to be honest, but I don't know when or if I'll ever have the time and energy to try to <laughs> try to get through it. Another Lombax Lore Orb. Uh, collectibles and R2. Entry 4. Apart and still be alive. It was so wild. And, oh, and now I wish I had asked Caden for more time. I, I just want to learn the stories of all these dimensions. Wait, their bodies could break apart but still somehow be alive? Were they like. What are they? I'm trying to think of like Sony PlayStation properties, right? Because like instantly it's making me think of Legos. But. I'm assuming it's not Legos he's talking about, right? Because, <laughs> like, that's not a Sony property at all. You had to restart your phone? Oh, well, I hope your phone's okay. <laughs> so, Nate, a Sony property where their bodies can break apart but still be alive? Is it talking about... I don't... The only thing I can think of is Legos that fits that. I mean, Bionics, but that's just another Lego property, isn't it? I honestly don't know. It's going to bug the crap out of me. I love the rupees. Just exploding into rupees. That is <laughs> that is amazing. I'm so glad they added that into the game or included that in the game. Uh, okay. So we can't actually shoot those while we're on the tracks. Can we, like, move ourselves down? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not really. Kind of. Oh, we're dead. Oh, no, we can reach. We got it. <laughs> I thought we were screwed. I love being showered in rubies. <laughs> That's going to bother the hell out of me. I'm sure, if, like, uh, online you could probably find what all the Easter eggs are referring to, though. And that may end up being what I had, have to do with that. Entry, what was it called? I think it was Entry 4. So I'll just end up having to Google. Actually, I'll just do it now. I have uh, Google up on my other monitor here. Lorb. Entry 4. Reference. You're Googling it now. Thank you, Nate. Mr. Noodle, thank you for the 5-bit cheer love. I appreciate you a lot. What, was it not working before or something like that? <laughs> or does that make you number... No, it didn't make you number one again. I don't know why you said there we go. Oh, it didn't work the first time. I see. I see. Did you spell it wrong or did it just not work? That's weird. What is it, Nate? Pay attention? Pay attention to what? I don't know what I'm missing. So what do we get? Some sort of armor of some sort. Some sort of armor of some sort. That's it. That looks like a uh, a Ninja Turtle helmet. <laughs> Captain is something or another. But, I mean, to me, it looks like a freaking a Ninja Turtle. Uh, 
Uh, is this the start? Yeah, I guess we're just going back down to the start. Okay, we can't. <laughs> I guess we can't land on that then. <laughs> My bad. How are we supposed to? I guess the hover boot over here is probably what we were meant to do. Based on the observations of the monks? Sure. Go ahead. Even if Plank does become this other person's best friend, he will still be yours. Making friends is not like cutting up a pie. There is enough to go around. Aw. That was sweet, wasn't it? I just want to shoot boxes all day and watch them explode into rubies. Colorful little rubies. <laughs> that float towards my face. Did you find it yet, Nate? Knack. Oh, I completely forgot about Knack, man. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I've never actually played Knack before, though. I will one of these days. So are you going to get mad at me when I shoot you? No, you just kind of ignore me. That's fine. Knack, yeah, Knack was a game on, uh, what, PS4 and the PlayStation Vita, I want to say? Hey, five more bits. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. Those were your last five? That's all right. I appreciate you for spending them all on me. <laughs> There's something related to Kingdom Hearts also? That's a little surprising because that's not a, uh, not directly a Sony property. It was exclusive to Sony stuff for a long time. Obviously, it's not anymore, though, but... That's neat. Best friends. Do you have one? I No. I never have. You've never had a best friend? He is more like a big brother than a best friend. I mean, your brothers and sisters can be your best friends. Friend, and we'll work our way up. Seriously, and it's weapon related? Oh, so like a keyblade thing, I'm assuming. I need to play Knack, man. I remember Knack and, uh, uh, what was the other one? I think it also started on the PlayStation Vita. There was another, uh, uh, I don't remember the name of it. But anyways, there was another game that I never got around to playing on the Vita that I want to. You are big. Oh, that's the thing. This, uh, honest to God, just reminds me of, like, Breath of the Wild. With, like, the giant thing moving around in front of us. Reminds me of... The, uh... The Whatchamacallits from Breath of the Wild, right? Okay, nope. That's gonna be a portal or something eventually. <laughs> that did not... <laughs> that, that, uh, that didn't work. Hey, we, uh... <laughs> we glitched through the world, though. <laughs> oh... I was hoping maybe we could uh, fly to the other side since we had all that speed, but nope. No one should. No. Kidding me, brothers can be best friends. If you have a childhood friend, you can consider a brother. It can go even further. You seriously wanted an older brother? Oh, okay, I need to pay attention. <laughs> I saw I saw you say free falling, man, so it's just... <laughs> figured we'd do it again for you real quick. I'm assuming we lose something when we die, right? That's the plan. Chill. May I suggest determining the best point of attack before you are detected? I mean, that sounds smart. I don't really usually do things the smart way. I usually just, you know, go in, guns a-blazing. Pow, pow. Pew, pew. Seriously, one and older brother as a kid. <laughs> Your sister was an annoying little shit. Yeah, I mean, as somebody that has uh, plenty of brothers and sisters, I'm happy to tell you that they can all be annoying little shits. <laughs> but <laughs> I love my family, don't get me wrong. But yeah, <laughs> they can all really suck sometimes. Sisters are annoying. <laughs> you love your sister, Mr. Noodle. True, but you never got... To be the annoying shit. <laughs> I'm sure if you asked your sister, she would say differently. Like, <laughs> hey, has anybody watched the movie Dune? These little dudes kind of reminded me of it. Mr. Noodle and I just watched it the other day. And it was very good. I'm just sad that I have to wait until next year to see the next part of it. That's what really... <laughs> that's the only thing about it that really bugs me so far. Alright, so... 
what do we want to... You have not watched it yet, Nate? You totally should, man. If you want to borrow it... Do you have a Blu-ray player? If you do, let me know. And you, if you want to borrow it, I'm totally down to... Let you borrow it or something if you need to. I'm surprised it's not on, like, HBO Max or something, though. Uh, I would appreciate it if you didn't shoot me point blank. Uh, uh, too many guys. Okay, fun guy. Can you help out a little bit with some of these guys? Please and thank you. And then... Uh, we are bouncing all over the place. I have no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> right, get the pistol out. I guess maybe we should have thought a little bit about what we were doing before we uh, hopped in here, huh? Maybe that'll... <laughs> maybe that would have been a, a useful thing to do. Oh, yeah, that's... I forgot you had a... Uh, a Xbox One. Honestly, though, I didn't know you had the Xbox One with the disk drive, so... Can you die already, Mr. Robot? And, and Mr. And Mrs. Flying Robot? No sniper bots. That's where I draw the line. Sniper bots aren't allowed here. We only have... Is that one shot? Or do we have a full set of ammo? I guess it's a full set of ammo. Rubies everywhere. Uh, nope. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> kind of ruined our own shot by falling off the platform there. Anything long range? I guess the only thing we really have long range is the pistol. Oh, well, you came close. Let's do some good old enforcer, man. Shotgun blast to the face should help take care of you real quick. I didn't know we could skate around these force fields. That's really cool. I like that. Feels good, man. You'll get to access it in a moment. Let me collect all my shinies first. We need our shiny goodness, man. Did you show Noodle HBO Max so they could watch the new Dexter? And yeah, man, never get an all digital unless it becomes the only option. Yeah, we actually, uh, she's been watching Euphoria on HBO Max recently. Um, there's, I went through the catalog of shows on it last night. And there's a lot of stuff on there that I'm wanting to watch, but, but I haven't, uh, haven't gotten around to any of it yet. Most of it's Scooby-Doo, to be honest, because <laughs> I noticed they have, like, all of the, not all of them, but a lot of the Scooby-Doo television shows, and a lot of the movies, too, which, I mean, I have a fair bit of them, but they have a lot that I don't have, so. And then, yeah, I completely forgot about the new Dexter, the new season of Dexter. Yeah, yeah, that's what Mr. Newell just said the same thing. Oh my god, I forgot about Dexter. Yeah. No, we definitely need to watch that soon, because Dexter's 10 out of 10 show. Very, very good. It had a couple rough spots in a few of the seasons, but still. Overall, really good. Is that... I think that's everything. Alright, where is the terminal? There's a couple rubies laying about, but it's fine. We'll get to it. Oh, we're doing the terminal this time? Surprise. You still need to finish the original one? Bruh, do it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> send us off in style. What the heck? Thank you both for freeing my brothers. You're welcome, Gary. We need help getting to the archives. It is Brothers, let's grease some dimensional wheels. Entering the archives takes a leap of faith, So you better get a running start. Okay. I can do that. Running starts are my specialty, apparently. <laughs> uh, how fast are we gonna go? Oh, buddy, this is... <laughs> yeah, it is. Let's go. <laughs> are we gonna make it? Can we make it without the rift? We can. <laughs> oh, there's crap on here. Bad guys, go away. None of you. A formidable war machine, really? You're gonna take a sacred place of knowledge and turn it into a war machine. 
actually, that sounds pretty realistic. Should not be surprised. Um... Where is the switch, though? That's kind of important. I can't turn it on if I don't know where it's at. Is this it? But it's locked. I'm guessing we have to kill everything first. Before we're allowed to get inside. Oh, okay. These guys just keep spawning? Maybe we should try to get rid of some of the big dudes going around the outside. Uh, not the shatter bombs. Negatron Collider! And where's the other ones at? Pew, pew. <laughs> Ow! What'd you punch me for? That wasn't very nice. Wait, what? Just like you still have to finish Supernatural? Seriously, I agree with Mr. Noodle. How the hell have you not... Okay, well, actually, <laughs> I was gonna say, how the hell have you not finished Supernatural? But, uh, I mean, if I actually think about it for a moment, Supernatural is a million seasons long. <laughs> it's a really, really good show. But it's it's long as hell. <laughs> so wait, do I just keep fighting these things until they stop coming? Or is there something that I need to do to make them stop coming? That's what I'm missing. Okay. So, I mean, they stopped and they're shooting at me now. So I'm assuming... Oh, wait, no. That's not the guys from the outside. That's something else. Look, I'm trying to deal with them, lady. Trust me, I'm not just running around here half dying for my health. Uh, can we do anything with that portal? No. Okay. What are you shooting at? Oh, you're just doing like a sweep. Okay. Well, bye-bye. <laughs> HBO covered another month, lol. And Nope Noodle would love the show. We got caught up. Rest came out and you just never got around to finishing it. Wait, what'd she say? Something about something. Powering the generator, right? Is she telling us to go up here now? Is this unlocked? Yes, it is. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Alright, what do we gotta do? So, it's another nefarious whatever that thing was called. Uh, we're out of ammo. Uh, what do we want? We want the Mr. Fun guy so he can do some damage while we walk around. Can you move? <laughs> Bro, how are you gonna get in my way like that? Where did the big one go? The one that we actually kind of need to kill. Is that them? Did it turn into, did one turn into two or something? We're out of ammo there too. I think it did. That's not nice, man. Like a freaking Hydra or something. Ow! They're so monksy. <laughs> Why aren't you taking damage? There it goes. What else? Mr. Fungi. Mr. Fungi to the rescue. Mr. Fungi is best guy confirmed. I guess blaster pistol. We don't have much room to talk. There are multiple shows we have yet to finish. I mean, this is true. I can't... <laughs> I can't argue with you there, love. Uh, I feel like we were kind of cheesing this a little bit by getting them so stuck behind it there. But you know what? Don't care. Ah, okay. Oh, thank goodness. It seems like... Oh, wait. This one's still alive. Why is this one still alive? I thought once I killed one, they'd both go down. Uh, we need health. Is there health around here anywhere, maybe? We are, like, out of ammo. Uh, run, run, run. Very quickly. Okay, we got some ammo for the blaster pistol. That's good. Oh, there's health. Health and run. <laughs> just, just smash and grab, man. Smash and grab. All right, uh, what do we got? We got some shatter bombs, blast pistol. That's what we want. 
Where is the big dude? Big dude, you going down today. Don't run out of ammo. Don't run out of ammo. What do we got? Shatter bombs. You're dead, right? You're dead. Come on. Oh, we out of ammo. Shoot. Mr. Fun Guy, you got to finish it for me, man. <laughs> finish him. 1%. Just shoot him. <laughs> Holy crap. That was <laughs> too, too close. Okay. Oh, it just, does it keep spawning health containers and shit for me? That's helpful. You've been told, lol, and yeah, you've been watching it since it first premiered ages ago, but you go through cycles of catching up on each form of media entertainment. Currently catching up on games and anime. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> there's a lot that I haven't finished. I really can't talk, like Mr. Noodle said, both shows and <laughs> game-wise. You and Sierra have been meaning to watch Kano together and still haven't got to. It is really, really good. And the one nice thing about movies compared to TV shows is that, you know, a movie is one one to four hour experience or whatever, where TV shows can take literally forever because of how many seasons or episodes or whatever there could be. Yeah, one and done. Exactly. So you should totally watch Encanto. Abuela sucks, though. Yeah, and the whole redemption arc at the end is a little iffy to me. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> I don't want to give spoilers to uh, to Nate, but yeah. My dad was the keeper of the Dimensionator. The original one, anyway. He gave everything to keep it out of the wrong hands. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I mean... It's not your fault, bud. Can't blame yourself entirely. Kind of hard to miss someone you've never met. But yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. I understand. Perhaps one day you will find them. Let's figure out if we can even build the dimensionator first. Can we? Yes. But the forge needed to do so is located at Kadaro Station, the most secure outpost in the galaxy. Well then, let's get moving, KT-74... It's just Kate. <laughs> I think Kit is Kit. my favorite. Okay, Kit works. Kit it is. Katie sounds more uh, appropriate to me, but... But I like Kit. Kit's cute. But I did like Katie. No, don't take down the archive! No! Bruh. People destroying, like, libraries and shit like that really irritates me. It has been fun, Ratchet. Nope. Nope. You gotta stay, Ratchet. You gotta stay and protect your friend. You meant Bruno in our D&D game? Last night? I mean, a version of. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mecha kit. Let's go. If he's been on TikTok, he's probably seen the whole movie live action by now. I I mean, I'm never on TikTok, so I didn't even know that like it was blowing up on TikTok. Kit the badass, man. Why didn't you do this earlier when we were nearly dead trying to knock down all these dudes? Like, <laughs> come on, Kit. Warbot activate. <laughs> There's a very good reason she didn't? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. I see. She just kills everything. <laughs> I told you. I do not make a great partner. Sure. That was intense, but it was kind of awesome. You do yeah. not understand. Pretty awesome kid. Around me. I was built to be a weapon. To keep the Emperor's galaxy secure. So was Clank. Night on patrol. I spotted a rebel in the Imperial Zone. So I try to... stop them. That is what I was built to do. Clank was built for the same purpose. I am here to keep everyone safe from me. And that is why I cannot come with you. Well, at least this mission worked out, huh? Yes. I suppose it did. 
And if I remember correctly, our promise was that if this mission didn't go badly, you want to stay a team? Well, duh. Strange, <laughs> Ratchet. I've been told that a time or two. Team? Perhaps. Just this once. Yes. I will there were <laughs> there were days where every other for you video was an Encanto one, really. So I'm never on. I had no idea. Yours is just full of FNAF. <laughs> I feel like half of your feeds are just full of FNAF. I imagine your YouTube feed, your TikTok feed, <laughs> your 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 news feed. Just it's all just FNAF. <laughs> Do it, Kit. The sexy crocodile? Wait, what? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something here, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> what is the sexy crocodile one? <laughs> what? Uh, him and Fred Dad? Oh, no. Not sure we got time to explain. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the TikTok lore. Ooh, it another new gun, huh? Some sugar and watch as it blocks and returns fire. Ooh, I guess that's why it's called a repulsor. It that makes sense. I mean, yeah, but they kind of keep you alive. That's actually pretty cool. So it's like a, a short range shotgun and a shield in one. A shield that reflects bullets. That's pretty cool. I like it. How much? We have 30,000. We can actually afford a couple things. Screwing around helped <laughs> a lot, actually. What is Cold Snap? Oh, that's like what the next one's going to be. Okay. So what do we want to get? The Drill Hound looked pretty cool. It's like a, a missile with a drill on the end of it. I forget what this one does. Feel like sticking your foes full of electrified needles. Oh, it's the Needler. <laughs> I guess we'll just buy them in order. We're just gonna buy them in order, I think. Your YouTube is mostly Scrubby, the storyteller, and D&D &D some, and some games. Mine is mostly, like, electronic stuff. Because <laughs> I, I, I like watching videos on electronic tinkering. Plus, I like to do that a lot myself. Uh, programming videos, because I, I watch and do a lot of that. And then a lot of different games. I watch a lot of gameplay stuff on YouTube. That's, uh, YouTube's my main form of entertainment outside of video games, so. Leave it to Noodle to show me Monty. If you see any more thirst traps of him, you're gonna die. <laughs> you don't understand the sexy crocodile one, but you don't question things. You never played FNAF. One of your favorite TikTokers did a thirst trap with the song, and you weren't disappointed. I'm assuming your favorite TikToker thirst trap is that, that dude that you showed me once or twice. Whose content I just totally don't understand, and I'm fairly certain you just watch him because you think he's hot. <laughs> I mean, that's I can't blame you, but yeah. <laughs> so we got the ricochet, the electrifying thing, and the drill hound to mess around with now. Uh, might as well refill health and ammo since it's so cheap. And since we're here, I mean, come on, let's do let's do some upgrades. What do we got? Like cool stuff that we can unlock. Blast pistol hasn't got anything else that we can unlock. Negatron Collider hits additional enemies with the beam, or no, hit additional enemies to add bonus damage. That's neat. Uh, nothing fun on that one yet. What do you got? Increase max ammo by two. I mean, that's kind of nice, actually, to be honest. We might unlock that one. And what do we get whenever we increase how many times he can fire? A bunch of those. Whichever enemy Mr. Fungi targets comes more likely to target him back. That's actually very helpful. And I really like Mr. Fungi, so... We already started this one, so I feel like we should kind of finish it off. Plus, I really like the Shatter Bombs. Shards detonate after a moment, dealing secondary damage. That's pretty sick. The Enforcer's okay, too. And there's so many cool weapons and upgrades we need to get. The more I learn about you, the more I love. <laughs> Might also need you to send me your favorite so I can take a gander. You have a feeling you have good days. I don't even remember his name, but... She showed him to me. Like, he's a decent looking dude, don't get me wrong, but I don't <laughs> I don't understand the content. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're definitely gonna un upgrade Mr. Fungi here. We're gonna get those. Let's get that that ammo increase, and then we still have twenty two upgrades left. I've really I really like the 
shatter bombs, but the enforcer has come in handy a lot. So I think we're going to do the enforcer next. Damage over time. Anything in their path. That sounds nice. Can we... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? So yeah, we can afford that one easy. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, another 7. We might even be able to upgrade something else. Like the shatter bomb? One. Yeah, I think we got enough. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can afford either one. Do we want shards detonate after a moment dealing secondary damage or increase ammo picked up from crates by two? I think we want the secondary damage. But you have the weirdest attraction to this guy on TikTok and you make stream watch him every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> His whole page is just thirst trap. <laughs> Gary.r. Is that. <laughs> Is that his name? Gary.r? It's a weird name, but okay. Goes. Yeah, let's get the uh let's get the secondary the secondary now explosions. I'm into it. And then I guess Did it automatically give us like max ammo? It did. Leave cool. It so soon? To remap our weapon wheel. You can rearrange where weapons are located on your weapon wheel by highlighting a weapon and pressing X to remap. Yeah, I got that. Um, lightning rod can go, oh wait, did it automatically remap everything for us? It did. How nice. It'd be cool if there was enough space on the weapon wheel for everything. Oh wait, why'd it put the lightning rod there? No. Okay. Hold on. You here for weapons or no, ammo? don't go to the upgrade thing. Let's go here. Uh, weapons, please. And thank you. So blast pistol should always be the top one because we use that all the time. Mr. Fungi is something we use a lot, so he should be on one of the edges. He is. Good. Shatter Bomb is another one of my favorites, so he should be on one of the edges. And then the Enforcer should be on one, which it looks like it is. How many weapons do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can't get all of them on there. Which one are we missing? Well, I want to try them all anyways. So Lightning Rod. Okay, so it's just a, a, a longer range rifle, and I'm assuming it has other effects. So, okay, that's fine. We might end up liking that one. Ricochet. This is the shield, right? Or no, 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 no. This isn't the shield. This is like a missile thing that keeps hitting people back. And then... What don't we like too much? We gotta, We gotta switch something out here. Gary Rodriguez is his full name. Your favorite tech talker is Quincy. Just search Quincy Tavern. It's extremely wholesome. It's half Mexican, half Russian. That's a good combo. <laughs> Quincy shares amazing recipes and adds a fantasy flair to them. I do like food. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> also, it changed our bubblegum. Keep it on bubblegum, please. So we need the drill hound. This one isn't on there anymore. Let's change out that one for the drill hound, I think. The Negatron Collider. Because I didn't I don't care for that one a whole lot, to be honest with you. So target lock and then shoot. Oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna like that one. That's <laughs> right, you have very good taste. <laughs> I don't I just don't like I said, I, I agree he's a good looking dude. I just don't like the the content. Probably because I'm not attracted to dudes, like sexually attracted to dudes. So uh it doesn't... I don't get the content, you know? I get no enjoyment from it, sadly. But, hey, at least y'all have fun with it, I guess. <laughs> You'll look at them, Nate. Your coworker and sister don't agree with you. <laughs> so, we can finish searching for the Lombax lore. We could do that. Where are we at? We're almost at another hour. It's already after seven. Holy crap. So it's probably about time for a break. I think what we're going to do is we're going to run around for a little bit looking for Lombax lore and shit. And then we'll, uh... Hi there. Good to see you. And then we'll go on to the next mission after we take our, our short little break. Huh. 
Not your normal type of content, but oh boy, you see the appeal. <laughs> what, you mean you don't normally just watch thirst traps and nothing but thirst traps? <laughs> don't mind me asking. What was it like working for the fairies? The Emperor is very cool and self-centered. I know that now. It sounds a lot like our nefarious. He had me fooled just like many others. He often said I was his greatest weapon. I took pride in that. That is, until I realized what being a weapon meant. Hey. Sounds like a good redemption arc. You realized it, right? not you anymore. No, it is not. I am here to make the universe better, not Did we go this way before? I don't think we've been down this way, unless this is the the Temple of Doom thing, just a, a different path to it. I'm thinking maybe that's what's going on here. Oh. Hey, okay, cool. So we got another, I mean, that's not what we were actually looking for, but we got a thing, a useful thing. Um, would be nice if the portal wasn't closed on us, though. I see more Rehertanium over there. We'll go ahead and collect that real quick. Like this one called Thieves Stew or something like that, and it looks like it'd be delicious. You gotta tell us what's in it now, man. You can't just, <laughs> you can't just tell us that there's food and then not tell us what's in it. Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh, we got stuck. I don't think we're going to make it in time. Ah, uh, maybe we did. It doesn't look like it. Uh, it's turning back, so... Yeah, we unlocked it. Just rare titanium. It's not, not that important. Oh, no, wait. That's a Lombax thing. Holy crap, never mind. I just saw the blue glow, glow and thought it was rare titanium. Reason normal content is cosplay or pagan stuff, but you can appreciate. I feel like half a cosplay is thirst trap anyways, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> I do get a lot of cosplay stuff that pops up on mine as well, so, whenever I do get on. What do you think of Savali? Well, beautiful. The locals are nice too. I can see why... Yeah, very nice, but I want to get the Lombat lore. Enhanced gallery? New characters have been added to the gallery? Uh, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Really smart cubes. Really smart cubes? Are they? Is that a Minecraft one? <laughs> I don't know. Your normal content, Mr. Noodle, is just weird stuff and crying of laughter. Yeah, that's that's pretty much right. <laughs> Girls giving chicken feet manicures and leaving them on... What the hell, Mr. Noodle? <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs> I don't think you can blame me for calling you weird sometimes, love. I love you and your weirdness, but, like, that's pretty weird. <laughs> chicken feet manicures? Like, what even... What even is that? I also forgot you get a lot of LGBTQ. You especially love seeing other NVs dressing in clothes that aren't typically meant for them. And then just showing off how good they look. Not only about 30% is. That still seems like a, a fair bit. 30%, <laughs> you know. I like this drill thing. That's a fun weapon. What were the other ones that we got? Uh, not the Enforcer. Ricochet. Oh. oh. Okay, so Ricochet, like, hits them, blows up, and then Ricochet's on to the next guy or whatever. It's kind of neat. And then, where's the electric one? Lightning Rod. Oh, you know what? We didn't equip the shield, did we? Yeah, we didn't try out the shield at all. We need to try that out still. Uh... Uh, no, that's the Shatter Bomb, not the Lightning Rod. Life of the Party? I don't know what that achievement's for, but... <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, they're just... <laughs> I like that. Whenever they get shocked and they're just, like, freaking out, that's fun. 
can't remember all the ingredients at the moment. It has veggies and meat and all that. So it's a stew. <laughs> no, it does sound good, though. And stews, I, I really enjoy stew, so. Can we, like, go in this ship or do anything with it? Nope, it's just here because it's here. That's fine. Next Lombax, Lombax Lore Orb. Collectibles. Who is this one going to be? Entry 6. Mapping's going well. Bad news, uh, apparently not well enough, because Caden just asked me to go faster. Uh, wouldn't say why, but he, he sounded stressed. So Thank you for being here, Mr. Noodle. Faster. Enjoy the rest of your day. Well, good thing I stopped doing those recordings. Wait, I'm doing one now. Oh. oh, okay. So that one doesn't seem like it was a reference to anything, sadly. Just a cute little one. Onions, mushrooms, cream. I'm gonna cough. Hold on. Okay. I'll get mushrooms, cream, a mushroom, a beef, roast beef broth and such. I mean, all of those things sound amazing together. So, I'm into it. What'd you say the name of the, uh, the TikToker was again? I have to check him out. Or her. Uh, so we collected that one. We got that one. It'd be nice if the... If there was a way to, like, set what our objective was. Why did it say we got new collectibles? That's weird. Unless, like, it's popping up because of the armor. No, the armor one went away. Collectibles. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because we haven't checked out the gallery. So maybe it's telling us... Like, that there's still new stuff in the gallery? How do we... Gallery. Uh... Ooh. Oh, the... The Cragger Bear. Mysterious plush bears that seem to show up on every world. They are said to carry the optimism, kindness, and creativity of a fallen hero. Missed by his comrades? That's very cute, man. That's really cute. Quincy LK. Just search Quincy's Tavern. Okay. I'll have to do that. Uh... Wasn't that the, the the name that you used for your D&D campaign too, or am I mistaken? I may just be thinking of Quincy from Bleach. <laughs> the Quincy. I may be getting it mixed up because of that. That's, that's a strong possibility. <laughs> what is this? Warp to ship? Um, ah, there we go. Just another one just chilling here. Didn't even have to do anything for it. Bear. <laughs> the bear was very cute. Uh, did a seven. No, I was going to stop doing these recordings, but I can carve out some time every once in a while. Because I'm a genius. Dimension 31X7. Not super different from home, but there were these creatures. One was firing a gun and spinning himself around every other second while the other hung out in his shoulder doing live commentary. Oh, I wanted to hang out with them so badly. <laughs> so that's Jack and Daxter. That's 100% Jack and Daxter there. Okay. I knew that one had to come. These two studios originally were uh, right across from the hall from each other. That's why there's so many similarities between Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter. Although... Oddly enough, like, they both started working on their games independently from each other. They just ended up being fairly similar. Um, but then, like, once they saw each other's projects, they started sharing some... Some development, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, s secrets, lore, I don't know, whatever. Point is, it made them even more similar. <laughs> And that's also why they have, like, uh, Easter eggs for each other's games a lot and whatnot. If you could bring me three lords, I'll hook you up with a sweet piece of armor I dug up. A Lombax shrine? I'll totally help. Radical! One last thing. I mean, we've already collected a lot of them, but... Bad vibes nearby, so if there are, you'll have to clear them out. Okay. Ah, uh, so if we collect them all, do we get a full set of armor? Ah, oh, he marked the rest of the shrines on our lap. Oh, Jesus. Freaking. Words. 
He marked the rest of the shrine's map, too, he said. I want to see the armor now. Wasteland gear. Damage from indigenous creatures decreased by 10%. I mean, I'm going to put it on because it's probably the first full set that we'll get. Although I still kind of like the default look. And that's bothering me. Why is the collectible still showing that it has new crap? So wait, are these all of the ones or just the ones we still need to collect? One, two, three, four, five. I think that's just the ones we need to collect. So that's good. Because <laughs> otherwise we would uh, really be screwed. How the heck do we get up there? Uh... Okay, there's got to be, like, a jump pad around here somewhere or something. Maybe something up here? If we can if we can get up. You're correct. The He was the inspo for the owner of the traveling tavern that you had. Okay, okay. So I thought so, but I couldn't be sure. Yeah, it looks like there must be a jump pad. Either that or we go up on that thing and then jump down. Wait. Wait a second. I see... I see little grapple points. Hold on. Brain working slowly. Nope. <laughs> I don't see a way to get up there. Go this way. There's got to be there's got to be a way up here somewhere. Whether it's a a jump pad or one of those little thingies. Um Right there. There it is. Man, I'm freaking blind. Okay, we got it. Geronimo, let's -a go. Uh, try not to get stuck on everything. Yes! Warb me, please. 8 of 12. Who are we gonna get? Kingdom Hearts? and pulling a trigger to use the dimensionator i just converted the whole thing into a helmet that runs on voice commands i mean he can't argue with the results and if he does i'll just complain about it here <laughs> okay <laughs> that's that's a thing and where's the next one at all the way over here how that looks like it's off the map or is it just an area we haven't been to yet and that's why it's not showing up one of your favorite content creators. I mean, again, I love food. <laughs> so anybody that talks about food sounds like a uh, a good one to me. I'll, ha I'll definitely end up checking them out. Uh, bounce me, please. Thank you. And... Okay, yeah, so it's just an area we hadn't gone to yet. Hey, what? No. Why'd we die? We totally had that thing. Well, that's annoying. Also, it took our map mark off, but I'm pretty sure it was over here, so. Just fly around the outside edge here, I guess. What is this? Why are we releasing these creatures? Oh, from Raritanium. That's why. Fair. So, like, this gun not only does damage, but it also acts as a bit of a stun. Not my favorite so far, but it's neat enough. And I could see it coming in handy in certain situations. Boost me. Alright, there he is. Uh, don't get stuck on the terrain, Ratchet. Are we fast enough to catch up to this dude? I and mean, we've caught up to other ones, so we gotta be. As long as we don't get stuck on anything. There we go. Done. I still don't know how we died the first time. That's annoying. <laughs> like, we were already on this thing, man. We had a hold of it and everything. We just ambushed him a little bit, that's all. Guess the game didn't like me ambushing its, its thing. We got... 
by a quite possibly the cutest dimension I've ever seen. Uh, the inhabitants were all made out of wool, I think. Uh, they could literally make anything. And there was a, a really, <laughs> really pleasant voice following me around. Oh, it was incredible. Oh, and what's even better? I think I'm finally close to mapping my last dimension. So that's definitely a uh, a uh, little big planet thing. Too bad Mr. Noodle's not here anymore because she loved a little big planet. But yeah, that 100% that had to be little big planet. All right, so Oh, we were close to this one. We just went the wrong direction. I'm not really worried about the sand sharks, man. I think we'll be okay. Let's get the shatter bomb. Oh. Wait, and then are these Yeah, and then all the little shards do the secondary explosion? That is cool, man. I mean, the secondary explosion doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage, but still. Tis neat. That's pretty sick. Oh, this thing isn't dead. Sorry, I thought you were dead, Mr. Mr. Spawny Planny Dude. Nest. Uh, you're a big guy. You can die if you want, though. Wait, where'd y'all come from? I thought... <laughs> I did not see you guys a moment ago. Let's get a, a uh, little bit of a different weapon. Try the drill hound out again. Oh. I like, I like how it acts like a dog, too. Like, it, it barks and seeks out the enemy. It digs through the ground because it's a drill, and then it freaking explode, explodes on impact. Like, tis perfect. Mwah. <laughs> Beautiful weapon. Number 10 is... There's no way. I don't believe it. Wait to see Caden's face when I give him the map. Dan, tell him that I'll be going back to all those dimensions soon. There's still so much I can learn. I think he's lying. <laughs> There's like an infinite number of dimensions. There's no way. Why is this one got a check mark? What is this? Huh. I don't know. This is a teleporter, so there's some rare tanium right over there that we haven't collected, apparently. I like that it gives us all that information on the, the map. It, again, because, like, it just really comes in handy whenever you're trying to complete something. To be able to see where everything's at and whatnot, you know? I don't feel like you need to spend a year of your life searching for all these things. Wait, do we have to get up there? How does it feel like we have to get up there to collect this one? There's another rare obtainium up there. Are you able to shoot all the way up there, dog? No, you're not. All right, normal gun. Ah, uh, we have to hit it with our thing, don't we? That's fine. We can probably climb the rocks here. Unless Lombax has lived forever. Ain't no way he did. That's what I'm saying. I think he's just trying to get out of work. <laughs> Uh, maybe we don't have to go on top of the mountain for this. I don't know. Let's just go over there and see. Oh, no. We can probably climb up the side right here, right? Oh, wait. Is this another one? Or, no. This is the <laughs> this is the base with the dude. Duh. I'm a dumbass. Just ignore me. And up. It feels so good. <laughs> Honestly, I have no complaints about this game yet. Like, none at all. It looks amazing. The story is fun. The gameplay is superb. Like, no game is perfect. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely got to be some sort of issues with the game. I just haven't found it yet. <laughs> It respects your time. That's actually huge too. Like with the with the showing you where stuff is at and adding it to the map and all that. Like that's awesome because I have very limited time to be able to complete things. So them giving me that information like that is very helpful. 
Even if they had made it a little bit harder to get that information, I still wouldn't have been mad. Like, they could have had it so you had to, I don't know, unlock a certain item or something. And then you could come back through the game to unlock all that crap or whatever. Uh, mushrooms. We gotta go across the mushrooms, I bet. Uh, but how do we get up to the mushrooms? <laughs> Hold on. Around back. Mm, nope. Is there a ramp? This... That's not a ramp. Portal? I mean, we might as well do the portal, right? Since we're here. Unlock another piece of armor of some sort. So, just don't fall. No. And rubies. Rubies for days. Oh, yeah, boy. What are we doing? I mean, I know what we're doing. We're trying to get to the end. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> okay, don't die. L1. Swing, baby, swing. We got this. Oh, we're getting, we're getting too high, man. <laughs> Thank you. And what kind of armor did we get? Um, Guess that's all there is to find here. some boots. Lombax pra pra Praetorian. I have, <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that word. Not gonna lie. But hey, we unlocked it, so that's all that matters, really, right? We're going to have to play through all of the Ratchet and Clank games. Thankfully, a lot of them are on PlayStation 2, which obviously I'm playing those games already anyways. But we're going to have to get all the ones for like PS3 and PS4 and whatnot and play through them as well. There's just no getting around it at this point. It's got to be done. No! Come on. Okay. So we're up here. From here, maybe... No, the mushrooms aren't going to do it. Shoot! How the hell do we get to this one? Also, that mushroom's kind of... I was going to say clipping through the tree, but I guess the mushroom and trees kind of grow together, don't they? They're like one big happy family. Um, What am I missing? I mean, maybe we can cheese our way up? <laughs> Yep, okay, we can just cheese our way up then. <laughs> since, since we can't find the actual way up, we'll just... Watch it be so obvious once we get up here now. Ah, uh, no! Oh, wait, there's a jump pad right there. On that one. And there was a, uh, a portal to get up there. So yeah, that's probably how we were actually meant to. Gain a little bit of speed, hit that jump pad, and then... Get over here that way. Yep, I bet you that was it. But how did we... How are we supposed to get up here, though? Uh, I mean, maybe. We probably... If I was a little bit faster, we probably could have got over here that way. All right, collectibles. We got the second to last one. Uh, why Caden has been so stressed lately. Something bad's going on. Uh, bad enough that we need to hide as many Lombaxes as we can. And I guess uh, all of my mapping work was to... Help find the perfect dimension for us to hide in. So, yeah. I hope I didn't screw anything up. Okay, so... The Lombaxes aren't all dead. They're just all in hiding, is what I'm guessing. I'm, like, fairly certain that's, uh, <laughs> that's the point they're getting to. But I wonder why we got left behind. Us and, uh... And the Lady Lombax, whose name I forget. Like, why did they just... Did they forget about us? Were we too young? I don't... I mean, no matter what way you look at it, we're either the last ones alive or abandoned by our own species. Like, <laughs> feels bad kind of either way. Um... Hmm. Okay. So there's one underneath of us here. How do we get? Those pillars seem to be different from 
the others. But I am not sure what to do. Shoot them in order. Okay, I mean, that was a pretty easy puzzle. Dope, so that's the last one. I guess sometimes violence is the answer, yeah. Oh no, wrong button. Entry 12. to the new dimension with us and and i'm so sorry i appreciate that trying hard to get everyone now but our race is scattered across so many dimensions it's this is not farewell i left a copy of my dimensional map in the archives and and i marked down where we're all going i i, I wish i could have left you a dimensionator too but uh, hey i'm only one lombax I hope you find your way back to us. And if you do, please look me up. The name's Mags. And I'd love to hear your story. Bruh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Lombacks. You found them all. Oh man, come on back to see me. I'm coming. No worries. You're gonna flip at this helmet. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay, so I mean Look, it still kind of sucks that you uh, you abandoned us there, Mag and Caden and all the rest of you, but it's fine. I guess I guess I can forgive you. Y'all had something going on. Max, relax. <laughs> all the little robots just chilling. That's cute. Completely missed that the first time we came through here. All right, brother, whatever your name is. Is, is that what it is? I don't know who Ratchet's dad is, so... <laughs> okay, that helmet does look pretty cool. I still like our default armor, I think, the best. But, again, I'm gonna equip it because it's the only full set we have. Does this make my tail look big? <laughs> Alright, now, let's get the hell out of here. Warp the ship. Let's get back to the uh, to the story bits of the game, shall we? We're going to come back and complete the game at some point. I've already 100% decided. Whether it's on stream or not, I don't know. But I'm 100%ing this game. Because I'm loving it. It's so much fun. And it seems like it was made with completionists in mind. Which feels very nice. You know very few tidbits. But that is one you know. I haven't finished all the other Ratchet & Clank games. So, yeah. And I don't, I don't know if they talk about his dad in the other ones or not. Or if that's like something unique to this game. Not 100% certain, but yeah, I didn't know that. That's cool, though. But all right, we are going to take a short break. It's been uh, well over the half hour that I usually do. It's been, uh, what, an hour or something? <laughs> so we're going to take a short break just while I stretch, get a drink, do all the good stuff, and uh, get rid of the pre-roll ads for, for just a little bit, because I imagine we'll probably end up going over the half hour again. But yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be right back, everyone. All right. They done now? Okay. <laughs> Nate says it's truly one of your favorites. They're on your list of second most played games, especially Fable 2. A lot of people hate it on Fable 3, but you love the changes they did. I was going to ask which one your favorite was. You kind of answered it for me there, though. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you should stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Yeah, so I'm guessing Fable 2 is your favorite, though? So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin moving. Preposterous. I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. 
This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. So two is your favorite because it's the one you played first in the series. Are the games not like... It's not one story, just kind of told throughout the three games? Like, each one has its own unique story then? I know they're set, like, in the same universe, but they are separate, right? Your brother had it, and you borrowed every chance you got until you got your own copy. Nice. Yeah, that's what... It's kind of how it was for, like, Jack and Daxter for me, for instance. Sorry about that. Well, not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. I said I never owned Jack and Daxter growing up, though I did own Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper, hence why I played those ones a lot more than Jack and Daxter, at least growing up. But then I got Jack and Daxter collection for the PS3 or 4, whatever it was, and I just, yeah, I fell in love. It's the only game I platinumed on the PS3. Oh, okay. Uh, well, on PlayStation. Oh, <laughs> none of those ones. <laughs> Pick the uh the wrong the wrong screen there. Alright, we are back. And if you can hear me by any chance, Mr. Noodle, then no worries. I will definitely be there to pick you up. Relax. We'll be done at nine. Or right around nine. What was I gonna say? I was thinking of something while we were on break. Oh yeah. So something that I would really love to do, and I wish we had more more streaming time in general so i could i miss speed running i've never been like a really big speed runner or anything never had like a world record or anything some decent times in a couple games but i do miss doing that and uh i don't know maybe it's something we'll do every once in a while is just pick a game and and speed run a little bit if i had like a consistent like if this was my full-time job i'd probably pick one day out of the week every week and do nothing but speed runs of something random not doing, like, uh, not trying to get world records on, like, Mario or anything crazy. Just pick some random game and have fun with it. See how quickly we can get through it. I really enjoy speedrunning stuff. And I kind of miss playing uh, The Longest Sword, which is the the game I had the highest time, like, ranking in. I was fifth in the world, give or take. Um, a lot of fun that one was. And I haven't played it in a long time. It's because I haven't had time for it. But, and obviously speedrunning's pretty big on, on Twitch and whatnot, too, so... That's something I'd like to do someday. Uh, so where do we want to go? Blizzard Prime? Blizzard Prime? Cordelian. Probably Blizzard Prime. Continue on through. Just work our way down through the top to bottom. In order to power the Dimensionator, Rivet and Clank must acquire Face Quartz, a rare crystal that can only be found in the Blizzard Rhymes. Blizzard Rhymes. Whatever the hell. However you say that. Speaking of Galaxy Run, that's another game I need to play, though, is, uh... On Sargasso, Shit, what's it called? You gave Ratchet the Dimensionator so that he could uh, the Mario world. Galaxy. <laughs> I never thought I'd meet one of us. Much less find our home, if you can even call it that. Do you really think it would work? No. No? No! Oh, shit, they just destroyed the entire planet. Well, I guess that's one way to try and stop us from getting any of the the stuff that we need, right? <laughs> like, but honestly, in some ways, wouldn't blowing up the planet kind of make it easier? Because the, the face quartz is probably just laying around. Like, is that some right there? It kind of looks like it might be. So really, by blowing up the planet, you might have helped me there, man. Ooh, it's low grab around here, too. Does she have the boots now? She does have the boots now. Oh, and we can jump so high with them in here. Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to go in here. Get out of the ship. <laughs> X to jump. Uh, yep. I know how jumping works. <laughs> oh. So we can go back and forth between like it blown up and not blown up. That's cool. So anytime we hit those, we just switch between two different dimensions. Very cool. Okay. Good to see that the, the creatures are essentially the same. <laughs> so 
So why why were Lombaxes on the run? Like what what did they do? <laughs> Is it just because of the fact that they knew how like dimensions and stuff work? So they were just on the run because people wanted to steal their secrets from them or something? Like uh, before we explore this dimension proper, was there anything in our dimension that we could do? The regular one. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they were being hunted, but why? That's what I want to know. Or do you mean, like, literally hunted? <laughs> I, I hope that's not what you mean, but maybe. Oh, man, can we... I feel like we could jump all the way over to there. That sounds like a terrible idea, but I gotta try it. Because, like, there's just enough of a little ramp here. Oh, there's a wall. There's an invisible wall. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, oh, hey, I hate invisible walls. <laughs> that sucks. What is... What was that glowing crap there? Can we... Oh, no. Okay, well, we're dead. GG. <laughs> I just wanted to see what the glowing crap was. Ooh. Okay. Just blow it up, right? Yes. The instability is worsening. Oh. Why mining operations are offline. I mean, okay, I guess we could switch between dimensions. I still like my idea though, just blowing it the hell up. <laughs> you know it is quality when you buy Oh, that's why we never equipped the shield. We didn't actually buy the shield one yet. That makes that makes sense, actually. <laughs> what? I mean, are you going to tell us what you're thinking? You obviously have something on your mind, weird lady. Do you know what she was talking about? She must be a survivor of whatever happened here. All right. We need another bleach. <laughs> that stranger is interesting. Yeah, you're you're not lying. <laughs> oh, nope, not that gun. Just the regular blast pistol. Can we go through the door? No. And glass is still intact. Yep. Okay. Guess we're going the long way around. R to aim at mag surfaces. Circle to mag jump to mag surface? What? Uh. Oh, that's cool. You can, like, use the magnet to jump up off of whatever surface we're on and then blast us towards another one. That's neat. I want all the rubies, please. Try not to jump off the freaking world, though. That wouldn't be the smartest thing to do. Yes, please. Rubies for days. Um, can we collect you, maybe? Yes. All right, probably not worth us risking our lives, though. <laughs> Just for a couple rubies. Uh, should definitely blow up all these boxes, though. Not only because the rubies look pretty, but also because if we don't, we're going to be screwed whenever we try to jump over there and then <laughs> end up hitting it. Uh, no Lombax here. Lombax are fake. Uh, nope. Bye-bye. Oh, we're out of ammo already. Holy crap. Okay. Ricochet gun. <laughs> I love how it just, like, freaking hits him and then just looks at him for a second and hits him again. Well, when its aim doesn't absolutely suck. At least. I can't believe we ran out of ammo already. Maybe we shouldn't have wasted it all on, uh... <laughs> on collecting boxes. <laughs> Probably would have been a decent idea. But where's the fun in that? 
into it after we obtain the phase four. The area is currently on lockdown. Please vacate the facility at your earliest and safest convenience. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll totally go ahead and work on vacating. No worries. We're locked in. Terminal. I'm assuming we can open some doors here. Come on. Type faster. Good job. Wait, we just reset the entire lockdown? I mean, I feel like normal people should probably still be trying to get off this planet. I don't know if a total lockdown reset was really the best move there. Rivet. Um, couldn't we just, like, jump over it? Maybe not. I'm tempted to try, but <laughs> we won't. Sounds like a good way to get ourselves killed. Oh, hello, little lava demon. You look interesting. You gonna come say hello? Oh, there's a bunch of you. Lava puffoids. <laughs> Which is never when they're not trying to gnaw your ankles. Wait, are they are they infinite or do they have? Are they coming from a nest like the the sand things do? I don't know. I'm thinking they're either infinite or they have a nest. Because they just keep coming, man. It's, uh, okay, maybe we spoke too soon. Of course, as soon as I start to think they're infinite, the very next, uh, <laughs> the very next group was the last ones. Ooh. Uh, blaster pistol? We got it. Yeah, because it only takes one or two shots to kill these guys. I like the lava texture. It looks really nice. It's unique, too. Like, this here is kind of generic-looking lava. But then that over there, the rocky lava texture, that's really cool-looking. That can't be good. Goon for less. More goons for less. You know, maybe if you didn't always use goons for less, you would have uh, better luck here. It seems to me like maybe you get what you pay for with your goons. Two down, and you're the last one, right? Nope, never mind. There's more coming up. <laughs> Rivet just thinks everything's cute, don't you? You and Rue got some uh, some stuff in common there. <laughs> Room goons? Really? Room goons? Okay, then. Where exactly are we going? Uh, ooh. Okay. I guess we're going on the, the elevator ride. You'll take that as a compliment. I mean, she is pretty badass, so yeah. Thanks for the help, Bolts. Not really used to it. We will need a way to mine the face quartz. Hmm. Perhaps the giant drill. Let's find some. <laughs> How do you think we should mine something? Oh, I don't know. The giant ash drill. Yep, that might be a good idea. I don't know. I'm guessing this something will come back to. Ooh, rare titanium. Now the question is, can we get back up there? Oh yeah, no problem. Too easy. Hello, other strangers. Do you talk? Ah, this is the mining hub. Perhaps someone here can direct us to the drill. The chief engineer's survey station should be nearby. You are just full of fun facts, huh? Indeed. For example, the average miner spends seventy-two percent of their life underground. Holy oh, crap! Really? No, but I would hate to bore you by running out of trivia. <laughs> <laughs> hate to bore you. 
Get it? Because miners, they, they bore into the ground, right? <laughs> um, sure, I mean, we could rush over there, but what's in the other dimension? Anything neat? Uh, nope, just looks like death and destruction. Cool. <laughs> oh, there's a gold thingy up there, though. How do we get to it? Oh, how do we miss the exploding thing? Hmm. It wasn't enough? I mean, obviously, your entire planet's been blowing up, dude, so... Whatever y'all did, it definitely wasn't enough. Alright, uh... So, I guess we just kind of... Go around in circles until we get over there, maybe? Yeah, there it is. That was easier than I expected. I mean, I'm just going to take a wild guess and say she was trying to warn people about this. You know? The entire world being blown to smithereens. I could be wrong on that assumption, but I think maybe that's what she was trying to do. And that was your first thought too? Shiny? <laughs> Are you trying to tell us something, Rue? Have you been, secretly been a Lombax this entire time? A Lombax from another dimension at that? Can you open the gate for me, maybe? No? Okay. Where am I going? Pull up the the, the thing. 60 meters that away. Oh, wait. Do we have enough money for that other weapon yet? No, we need 16... 17,500. Okay. I believe we are close to the survey station. The decorations here are slightly more colorful than in my dimension. <laughs> I'm eating some crackers. Yes, I am a simple Rue. <laughs> uh. Every time I move, I keep trying to move the cord out of the way. Because I'm so used to playing, whenever I'm streaming stuff, playing the uh, PS2. But obviously, the DualSense controller, the PS5 controller, no wire, completely cordless. Hello? But every time I move my legs, I still reach down to move the cable out of the way so I don't <laughs> mess it up. Do you run over that? it or something. No. Voices. Haven't been hearing them for too long. Wherever the purple is, they are too. First the quakes and the blizzard. Now this. I don't hear anything. Except someone asking if you'll be drilling for face court soon. Not until I determine what's going on. For all we know, this whole drill site is haunted. That's why I sent my science bots out to scan the purple. And? I have to pick them up. And I know it's safe. <sighs> so, okay. I can kind of understand why hey, people thought the other one was crazy. I'm assuming she was also hearing voices. <laughs> These intercepted a message from your dimension. Perhaps it is from that person we encountered. Hopefully they can help us figure out what happened there and prevent it here. Let's go. Uh, where was the first one? Oh, over there. I thought it was like right here. I'm sure they're listening in on the purple. The tremors are increasing in frequency. Listening in on the purple. Why do they call it the purple? I mean, I guess because it's purple, huh? That makes sense, but... <laughs> oh. Bob? I mean, B-O-B, -B, so obviously it stands for something, but... Oh, sweet Bob. It's gonna be my new catchphrase. Anytime anything goes wrong. Just, oh, sweet Bob. No, I was actually called Bob for a little while in uh, middle school. Or no, elementary school. 
the computer teacher was going around and he was asking everybody what, like, their name was, introducing himself and everything, you know, like they do during the first day of class. And uh, he got to me eventually and he saw my name and he was like, Christian, that's pretty long. Is there something else that you like to go by? Like Chris, Christopher, anything? And I was like, no, nah, I don't really care. Just whatever you want to call me. And he's like, so I can just call you Bob then? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. If you want to call me Bob, thinking he was joking. Nope, this dude totally called me Bob for the next uh, two years that I went to that school. <laughs> So that's what I was known as at that school for a couple years, which is Bob. Calm down, Bob. You're a robot. What are you worried about? Uh, okay. Well, turns out lava hurts. And this one's about to explode. <laughs> yep. Strike, strike now. What if I don't want to strike it now? What if I want to wait? What are you going to do about it? Bob. Alright, I'll strike it. <laughs> uh... Okay, well, of course there would be static right whenever they're trying to tell us the important part. But can't anybody make anything that just doesn't break and at the critical moment? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. Oh, I can't jump over there. There's rare titanium. Man, that's such a cliche, honestly, though. It really is. So I totally get why they have a bunch of invisible walls in the game. But I guess that is the one negative so far. Is that there are a fair bit of uh, invisible walls. Which I've never been a huge fan of. But I get it, you know. People would be sequence breaking the crap out of this game if it weren't for that. I wouldn't be surprised if people are sequence breaking the crap out of it anyways. <laughs> I've never watched a uh, a speedrun of this game, but I guarantee you that people have broken the hell out of it. So we got Jim and Bob. Jim Bob. How many are there? Makes me wonder what the next one's going to be called. I'm trying to think of other like simple names, but my mind is... Uh, not working at the moment. <laughs> Jim, Bob, Sue. I don't... Joe. <laughs> there you go, Joe. That's a good one, yep. Do we have the... The Enforcer, yeah. Oh, this one's locked. Why is this one locked? That's no fun. Can't go and explore another dimension on my own time. I take it back. This game's one out of ten. Terrible. <laughs> Joking, obviously. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> maybe that's why they have them blocked off. <laughs> Turns out they can explode violently, seemingly at random times. <laughs> this one also blocked new. What secrets do you hold, a oh, wonderful Belize on, or whatever the hell you call? You don't need it that badly, but I do. I know I find red tape constricting. Yeah, totally. That's definitely what she's talking about. I am your new best friend, Jim. Wait, no, don't rivet. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of sad. Stop fussing, Jim. Hopefully, he picked up interdimensional messages and didn't get distracted trying to find friends. <laughs> Can you blame him? Oh my lord. He is not your new best friend, Jim. Why would you try to make friends with the hostile entities? You like Jim. Jim's cool. Jim's nice. <laughs> Jim just wants friends. Even if they're trying to kill him, apparently. Alright. Uh, where? Oh, where? Oh, the one that was blocked off. That makes sense. Are you always suspicious that anyone you meet worked for Emperor Nefarious? 
I mean, he did kind of take over the universe, so... Can't really blame her all that much. Come to me, rupees. Please, thank you. Can I just go straight to that one? No, it's too far away. Okay. Fine, we'll twist away, twist around in weird ways that make me just a, just a wee bit nauseous. Uh, more bad guys. Big bug bad guys. I mean, they're fighting each other, though. I'm kind of, <laughs> I kind of just want to let them kill each other. I wonder who will win, the bugs or the bad guys? <laughs> My money's on the bugs, honestly. The bad guys are kind of useless. Alright, fine. We'll intervene. Oh. Only to kill the bad guys, though. Bugs are friends. Where... Is that all of them? Did we kill them all already? They didn't last very long. Like I said, useless they are. Oh, nope. There's another one. Hold on. We need something a little more long range. We haven't used the fungi in a while. I'm sure the Mr. Fungi could probably take care of him. And I take it back. These bugs are rude. <laughs> they are trying to shoot me with their weird mucus balls. I don't appreciate it. Not a friend of... Not a friend. Not a fan of mucus balls. Not a friend to mucus balls either, actually. I wonder... Um, we'll come back to that. There's another Dimensionator crystal here. Teleport me! Thank you. Uh, hello? Is this one just empty? Oh. Okay, well. Guess we came here too early. Fine, we'll go back. And oh, the crane moved the crystal. This may bring us one step closer to reaching the bot. Will it? Oh wait, will that be in between dimensions? So like if we go to this one now and go to this dimension, will that crystal be on the other side? It is! Look at that. <laughs> Of course, days left to retire. Speaking of cliches. Hello. Sam. Oh no. <laughs> That's your, your charming accent. Stereotypical Southern. Oh, I thought we could stand on the rope. <laughs> Share with me your secret. Oh, never mind. Don't share with me your secrets. Lock me in your your hut. Really? You didn't put any security inside the building? Oh. You look fun. Uh, do you like fungi? I, you look like you like fungi. How about drill hounds? <laughs> they're, they're like drills and dogs mixed together with exploding warheads. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. If you would like to die, that'd be fine, Mr. Robot Dude. I forget that we have the dodge button. Really should use it sometimes. <laughs> Alright, shatter bombs. We need shatter bombs. There are too many people. Ah, we're fine, Clank. Don't worry. What is the worst that could happen? Uh, we've run out of ammo at a critical time. And then get completely obliterated by robots. I'm sure that'll never happen. Why are there so many stupid portals to other dimensions? Uh, 
Uh, are we out of ammo again? We're out of ammo again. <laughs> Lightning rod, why not? Oh, no, wait. You know what we need? We need more fun guys. Fun guys for the win. And... Ricochet, you know what? In such an enclosed space, I feel like the ricochet could actually be pretty useful. Assuming that it, you know, ricochets off of stuff. Too bad we weren't using the ricochet. <laughs> Oh, yes, there we go. Ricochet doing excellent work. <laughs> yes, Ricochet. You're dead. You're you're so dead. Okay, well, never mind. You're not dead yet, and we might be dead. <laughs> okay, now we just gotta blow up all the rabble now. We got this. <laughs> We're good. Perfect. A blazing blizzard day. That's some corporate BS there, if I've ever heard any. Yay! Jim, where you at, bud? Uh, Jim, I'm blind. Make yourself known. This way. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Are you my new best friend? Yes. Uh, sure. Happy noises. <laughs> Happy noises. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Jim. I appreciate you. That dimensional anomaly is identical to the one we saw on Sargasso. Good. That means you can deal with it. I honestly forget Sargasso. <laughs> What's that mean? As your best friend, I do not want you to worry, so I will not expound at this time. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Happy beeping and whistling. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yes. No, I like it. Karaoke is wonderful, Jim. Oh, I remember. <laughs> Jim is precious. I remember this now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gary's the dude in here. I thought he looked familiar. Okay, we can do that, Gary. Uh, so we need to weigh them down? What? What does this do? A heavy sphere, I obviously. <laughs> Wait, why did this one spin? I guess it's uh, on a timer. No. Turn the other way. <laughs> Stay the other way. How? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I feel like this isn't working. <laughs> we need to get that thing there down. How do we how do we pull that down? Gary, I believe in you. <laughs> Wait, okay, so maybe if we take this out, is there something else we can attach it to? Oh, yeah, duh, right there. How did you get the title Prophet? Okay. I'm just a little bit blind sometimes. <laughs> And then I guess now we just gotta stand on this thing? Forever? Oh wait. Shit, there's something over there we gotta destroy, isn't there? Why does that thing look like it's going to to murder the thing? Oh, we gotta weigh it down. <laughs> I never would have guessed. The one ability we have in this area may be the ability we have to use to, to solve the puzzles. <laughs> I wish we didn't have to stand on this, though. If it was just a switch, that would have been fine. And... Done. Beautiful. A+. Plus. 
what can I say? Clank is the best. It's all thanks to your help, though, Gary. If it weren't for you, we would never have been able to accomplish it. I miss my rocket boots already. How are things going with you? Well enough. She hacked my brain and saw my memories. Ah, so look at all the poor clanks. It is interesting. For being dimensional counterparts, Ratchet and Rivet have surprising differences. Can I? Yes, I can't grab that one. Robots when he met me. Yet Rivet does. Maybe your dimension is the Lift sphere. Okay. Um. So that doesn't get them far enough. Oh, but wait, can I use the list here too? It's been so while, so long since we've done this. I don't remember. <laughs> yes, we can. We're dead. <laughs> Gary, no. There we go. Okay. So then we got heavy sphere. So that's not going to help us there. It'll probably help us with that one. Because there's a sphere over there we need to get, obviously. And then we could probably use the lift sphere on that one, but like... Oh, no, 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 no. Go back on that one. Can we time it? Or do we have to use the lift sphere on it? Oh, okay. Well, we can't even touch the outside of it, so... Yeah, I think... Shoot! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Can we... Double jump over to there. Yeah, okay, never mind. So we didn't need it. Speed sphere. Okay, we got it. We got it. So that goes there. No, not that one. Leave that one. I want the other one. That one. And you go in there. When you get the chance, will you send me like two or three dollars? Make sure you have enough for the stuff you're getting. You can do it. Thank you, Nate. I appreciate you, man. And yeah, Mr. Noodle, I will. Give me just a minute and I'll send it to you, love. Well, and that's why I'm the genius and you're just the interdimensional stoner. <laughs> Is there anything about ratchet and okay. They are both There's a lot of stuff going on here. Me, what are we... So caught up in the details. And you wish you were better huh. So that one probably has to go there eventually, but I probably need to use it before then, I imagine. I hope I'm not interrupting your process, but I think there are more spheres left to find. Um. Okay, so I can't get to that one yet. There's no way I'm going to make it through there. Oh, there's one over there, though. So this is the speed one. That'll come in handy somehow, I'm sure. What happens if we attach a speed one to this? It just goes faster. Fair. <laughs> and then how do we get to that one? It's like we need one of the ones that lift. But so far, at least, I haven't seen any lifting ones unless I'm blind, which is pretty possible, to be honest. Oh, you know what? Okay, maybe we can use speed to run through it. Or that's a lift one. Oh, that is lift. I thought that was speed. Holy shit. I am stupid. Never mind. <laughs> you can just go in there. So what is this one then? That's the speed one. Holy crap. Okay. So first we need... The weight. And then you'll go through here. And then, does the weight ever wear off? Ah, uh, no, you know what? Maybe we can put the speed one in the fan? So that it blows even harder? Nope. Okay. That's not the answer. I guess maybe we just have to... Get them all in? I don't know. And then speed here, in this one. You still can't hear, but you know you're probably wondering what I'm buying now, so... I'm 
<laughs> some really pretty half off ballots. Okay, love. <laughs> So I'm, I'm guessing we just have to have a few go through and then take it off. So wait, no, because then they're going to instantly get blown over there. What? Uh, maybe they can run through it with the speed. Like maybe if they run fast enough, they'll just magically make it through. Unless. Man, I don't know. I don't know with this one. I am at a loss here. Let's see what happens when they... No, they just they just run to their death faster. <laughs> so we have to have the way one there, right? There's nothing else we can attach to. We can't stop the fans. And they have to go straight here. But then since they're going straight here, they just walk off the edge to their death. Holy crap, man. International plumber, thank you. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. No. That doesn't make sense. I was thinking maybe we could send them over using the, uh, the jumping one. The lift one. Right? Because technically we could put it in there. And then they would probably rise above the fan. And then, yeah, they would get blown over here, but... How does that help? Unless, like, by going fast, they can run through it or something. <laughs> or by being heavy, they can run through it? I don't... Yeah, no, see, we can't... We gotta destroy that somehow. And we're still missing the fast one. I'm confused... What happens if we fast one of these guys? Nothing. I mean, we can run them. Oh. Okay. <laughs> if they run into it quickly, <laughs> they break it. Fine. Whatever. It's done. We got it. That's all that matters. <laughs> he might have said something. I might have just missed it, but... I don't know. Holy crap, I didn't realize that it's already been almost another hour. Holy crap, man. Time is going fast with this game. Okay, I'll tell you what. We are going to take another break because we only have about 40 minutes left. So we're going to take a quick break and then we'll come right back with uh, the last little bit. Hopefully finishing up this world. Pretty surprising considering my love of, you know, uh, God of War and Kingdom Hearts and whatnot. But Jack and Daxter was just very reasonable with its trophies. Like, you didn't have to do anything ridiculous to collect them. You just, you beat the game and, and got all of the collectibles in the game, and that's all you had to do. There was no, like, online elements. There was no kill six million of these things or anything crazy like that. It was just, hey, play the game. Did you 100% the game? Cool, you gotta, you gotta platinum. Whereas, like, Kingdom Hearts, for instance, I've 100%ed the main part of the game, but the gummy shit missions just get to me, man. I can't, <laughs> I can't get into them. <laughs> Not that much, at least. So, I've never, uh, I never got the platinum on it there. The overall lore, all of them are connected. You don't know why it's double messaging? Uh, it's not showing up double for me, so you should be good. Yeah, it's just showing up one message each time you send something to me, so. I think you're alright, man. Yeah, maybe something with your, your connection issues that you that you're having. Maybe it's showing too because of that. I don't know. But yeah, no worries. No problems on this end. Yeah, I really hope that, like, if they do a remaster of 2 or something like that and bring it to PC, that would be amazing. Just because I have no idea when it'll be that I finally end up picking up an Xbox console. Well, actually, to be fair, I do actually own a couple Xbox 360s. They just need some work done on them to get them working again, basically. So once I get one of them fixed, I, I could just play Fable 2 on there if I ever wanted to. Ooh. Which is something maybe I'll do. Uh...
Okay. Got a little bit stretched out at least. Sitting here for <laughs> four hours, though, does uh, get to me after a little while. It's not like when I was a kid, man. Sit in one spot for... I almost said months. <laughs> I used to sit in one spot for months, man. No problem at all, but these days, nope. <laughs> Can't do it. You're welcome. Nothing that a little bit of a uh, rift muscle can't fix. R rivet muscle, I guess. <laughs> Not rift. I mean, I guess a nice rift in the middle of the two probably would have fixed the problem too, to be honest. So now can we go mine this stuff, please? You're welcome, Clank. That's one thing you do like about the Switch you can move in-game. Oh, I love the Switch, man. The Switch, honestly, is probably my favorite game console, and it's just for that reason. Like, I like the games on the PlayStation 5 a lot, and the PlayStation 5 itself is a really cool console, but, like, man, the... the, the being able to switch to portable mode on the Switch at any time is just amazing. Uh, it definitely is not muted, Rue. Okay. <laughs> not now, at least. It may or may not have been there for a second. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Bring it back now, y'all. Yeah, there is. Portal! <laughs> I want to play Portal at some point again. I've beaten Portal before, but I really, really enjoy Portal. It's a lot of fun. Portal 1 and 2. Um, Switch it back now. Go around in a circle for stuff. I guess. Sure. Oh, wait. No, there was a dimension crystal there, too. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I just realized there was a grid there. That would not have ended well, I'm sure. There we go. Okay, that's what we want to do. What kind of snacks? I mean, any kind of snacks, love, are excellent. Um, I was thinking something a little savory, like, uh, I don't know, I guess Funyuns or something. Just something that we can munch on. I can't really think of other snacks at the moment. If there's anything on sale, like Doritos or something, then I'll take that too, I guess. But Funyuns sound really good. Drill for phase quartz. I mean, they make that sound so easy. But I feel like there's going to be more to it than just, you know, hitting a single button, calling it a day. I can't get over how good it looks whenever you just break shit in this game. <laughs> like, that's one of my favorite things to do is just watch all the particle effects. Just everything exploding in colors. All right, Clank. We'll go crank the thingy. Uh, maybe if I knew where it was. Oh, right in front of me. Literally. Right beacon in front of me. You had a honey bun earlier? I do like honey buns too, but I try not to eat too much sweet stuff. Although, uh, fudge rounds sound really good right now, too. Uh, a little late. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> Drill is on and probably staying on for a moment. <laughs> I mean, maybe using a giant laser to drill into the center of your planet wasn't the best idea. I'm just saying, like, whatever happened to just good old-fashioned drills, man? I have a, a drill dog you could totally use to, to mine out some stuff. Uh, kaboom. Kaboom. And, uh... 
Oh, no more kabooms? Where's everybody at? How am I supposed to blow you up if I can't find you? There you are. Uh, what? How does your gun go through shit? Do you have a dimensional gun? <laughs> like, it totally went through that shield that we had, uh, we're behind there. Kind of bullshit. <laughs> You'll look, Mr. Noodle, don't have much time. People don't stop coming. I, I feel that, love. Uh, I just realized we are not doing well in the damage department. Let's get a couple Mr. Fungi down. So we can deal some damage while we're just running away. And then maybe pull out the Enforcer for some normal shots. And then... Ooh. Fudge rounds are delicious. What are you saying, Utu? What, honey buns? Is that what you were saying, Utu? Uh, yeah. I would love to return to the other dimension, especially considering I have, like, no health. <laughs> okay, please. I'm just trying to find health, guys. I don't want to die in a dimension that's not my own. Holy crap, we're dead. <laughs> totally go for some choco donut holes i'm not a huge fan of like packaged donuts usually i really like donuts though like from like a uh, tim hortons or or you know a local bakery would be even better but but yeah not a big fan of of pre-packaged donuts there are the ones they're like they're incredibly greasy but they taste so good i can't remember the name of them off the top of my head they're like fair rounds, fair donuts. I don't remember what they're called, but they are freaking delicious, man. Can you just hit the freaking... Okay, you know what? Maybe use something with a little more precision. Oh, ooh to people. <laughs> to noodles, people won't stop coming. That's fair. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just thought maybe you didn't like uh, honey buns, man. I mean, honey's not everybody's favorite thing. I have an illegal weapon? Do you see the things that are strapped to your arm, dude? How is my weapon illegal? Who doesn't like honey buns? I mean, I don't get it, but there definitely are. <laughs> Actually, I think Noodle's not a huge fan. She likes them. But I'm pretty sure it's not like uh, one of her favorites. Got stuck on some geometry there for a second. Is that... No, that's locked. We can't do anything with that. Okay, I guess we're just going back to the other dimension now. Wait, where's the... Okay, <laughs> I lost it for a second. Went totally blind. Uh, ammo, please. Thank you. And kill the dudes. Fungi. And another fungi. And then blast pistol, y'all. I like the, the destruction, the, the, the destructible environment. I haven't noticed if, like, an entire shield will go, like, disappear or not. But it's cool that they have, like, different stages of destruction to them. Goon dropship. Uh, now would probably be a good time for that weapon that I totally said, hey, we don't really ever use this and got rid of. <laughs> The freaking the the giant laser beam one, whatever the hell it's called. Honey buns are kind of gross. Do you want a bag of Fungians for four twenty or two bags of Doritos for five? You can hear again, by the way. Well, I mean, I'd rather have the the two bags of Fungian or Doritos for five. Yeah, I like Fungians better, but. Uh, maybe get one of each or something. I don't know. Whichever ones you want. I'll probably eat Cool Ranch. Definitely like Cool Ranch better than original. I miss Mr. Noodle and I both really liked... Um, what were they called? Buffalo? Buffalo Wing ones? I forget the exact name of them. But those ones were actually really good. And I'm very sad that they got rid of them. <laughs> Aw, Jim. Now we can't die. <laughs> we die now. We're letting down Jim. So it's just out of the out of the options there. Sorry, Jim. I think we're going to be okay. 
Although we are getting uh, <laughs> very close to being out of ammo. There we go. Perfect. We live for Jim. <laughs> oh. Grab it. Quickly. Ranch dipped buffalo. That was it. Yeah. Super good ones. And they got rid of them. Ah. Revit saved Clank. Oh, no. Well, maybe it's not as bad as it. Can you, can you just like super glue it back together? I know this is going to sound totally weird, but the Mords used to tell me legends about someone on Torrin 4 called the Fixer. If it's broke, the Fixer will fix it. So he can he can super glue interdimensional crystals together. <laughs> she has a robo tail. Wait, what? Really? We'll have to take another look at it at once. Uh, once we're on a planet that has gravity. <laughs> Oh, no, you know what? I have, I think I have pants on her. Hold on. Armor. Yeah, yeah, we got pants on her. That's why. There you go. She's got a normal tail. <laughs> yeah, she she was just wearing pants. Because I didn't think she did, but, I mean, you were totally right. She did there for a moment. All right, do, how much time do we have? We don't have that much time got about uh 20 ish minutes do we go ahead and go to one of the other worlds or do we just fuck around for 20 minutes tis the question you hear that <laughs> <laughs> okay nefarious Oh. Otherwise, okay. You to throw your eyes into the local incinerator because they are clearly This makes me think of don't look up. <laughs> the Lombax vandals have not escaped. How could they if ah. I haven't even caught them yet, huh? You morons. Yeah. <laughs> look how cute they are though. I mean, I he might give us that 27 skajillion or whatever, but I've I've got a good feeling that 27 skajillion nefarious bucks or whatever the hell they're called is uh, just worth nothing. <laughs> just the paper they're printed on, and that's pretty much it. So what do we got? We got Torn Force, Fixer, that's the, the fixer fix dude. And then Forge the Dimensionator. Well, I mean, we don't have all the pieces for it yet, right? So what's the point of going there? But yeah, it makes me think I don't get look up, man. The whole, the world is obviously falling apart. You can see interdimensional things collapsing constantly all over the place. But then the ruler just saying, hey, don't look at all that stuff. Just, <laughs> just ignore it. If you ignore it, then obviously it's not happening. <laughs> That ended up being a really good movie for anybody who hasn't seen it. It's a, it's a weird movie. It's really weird, but it is a lot of fun. So that you thought about that scary game instead? That scary game. I'm not sure what you're talking about. FNAF? <laughs> Anytime you say a scary game, that's just <laughs> what I'm going to assume. I didn't realize before, in the, uh, in the center of the screen, the bottom left of the little preview of what the world looks like, it shows you which character you play. On that world. So that's neat. I think, uh... It's an Oculus Rift game? Oh. <laughs> I need to play more stuff on my Oculus. 
I, uh, I started playing a little bit of a time hopping game on the Oculus. I forget what it's called now, but it, it ended up being a lot of fun. I didn't buy like the DLC to unlock the full game, so you need to get an Oculus. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a good first step to playing an Oculus game, getting an Oculus. Yeah, I don't think we should jump into the next world because otherwise we're just going to end up stopping in the middle of whatever we're doing and uh, completely get lost. So instead, why don't we try to find one or two of the secrets that we've missed on some of these other planets or, or the optional stuff at least. We'll just start at the beginning. Search the factory. There's reported resistance activity at the factory by the bazaar. Right the Oculus is a ton of fun, though. I mean, I spend most of my time just looking at stuff or playing Beat Saber anytime I'm on the Oculus. If you hook it up to your computer, you can use Steam with it. And uh, Steam has a bunch of really cool user-made worlds that you can explore and whatnot. One of my favorites are uh, there's a collection of like Legend of Zelda areas that you can explore. That's a lot of fun. I'm with you every step of the way. Just being able to walk around like Kakariko Village and whatnot from the Legend of Zelda, but in VR, you know, making it feel like you're you're there in the whole thing. It's a lot of fun. Snacks and eyeshadow required. Congrats, love. I'm glad you got your stuff. And the snacks. I'm I'm really excited for the snacks too, to be honest. <laughs> Snacks are A+, plus and we have been very low on them recently. Hey, okay, well that was an easy gold thing to find. Nooks and crannies, trophy earned. What did we unlock with it? Oh, we got hammer skins for her, so I mean, we're going to do the same thing. Bubble gun on both. And photo mode pack one. Unlock some photo mode stickers and frames. I never really get that into photo modes in video games. Like, they're neat, don't get me wrong. And the first time I experienced one, I uh, was in Final Fantasy XV, the PC edition. And uh, they included Ansel, which is part of, like, your NVIDIA graphics card has something that it can do. And uh, I played around with that a fair bit at first because, you know, it was a new novel thing to me. I'd never mess around with the photo mode never seen a photo mode but now that i have it's just like eh whatever kind of done with it i've seen some really cool photos that other people have taken in video games from photo modes though it's neat what people can do with it i'm just not you know one of those people i guess <laughs> someone who doesn't wear makeup snacks are way better i agree completely <laughs> but mr noodle loves makeup so for her sake i am happy but yeah, snacks all the way. All right, pull up the map. Where are we going? We got our optional thing somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Jesus, I was on top of it. 107 meters that way. Even as a kid, you just didn't get the hype for makeup. Same. <laughs> I mean, it's less common for... For... You know, guys to wear makeup. So, you know, I guess it's not that weird that I never really got makeup. But even for women, for I don't really see the point, to be honest. Like, if you're really trying to get dressed up fancy or something, then fine, whatever. But I think it's almost entirely unnecessary. Well, I mean, okay. It's entirely unnecessary. But... <laughs> But yeah, I understand that other people like it. You have an eyeshadow addiction? She does. She has a very large collection of eyeshadow. <laughs> Way too large in my opinion, but <laughs> again, she enjoys it, so. Miss Zircon is not much of a secret? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> like, <laughs> everybody knows Miss Zircon and what she's getting up to. How the hell do we get up there? I thought we could just, like, jump up there from that thing, but... Um... Okay, is there a hint on the map? <laughs> uh, no. It shows the bridge over top of us, but not how to get to it. 
I guess we go this way. Okay, that's the area we were just in, and it's blocked off. It's not much of a secret, but as someone AFAB, you honestly thought it was stupid to spend so much on it. Nudo, I think you would get along with my friend Jonathan. Too large of a collection coming from the guy that's trying to collect over 1,800 PS2 games. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can't argue with you there. But, I don't know. I guarantee you I've gotten more time out of my uh, PS2 collection than, <laughs> than Mr. Noodle has with her eyeshadow palette. <laughs> and some of those things are expensive too, man. I mean, there's definitely some video games that are super expensive, but, like, yeah. They are not cheap, man. Hey, the games are an investment? Exactly! <laughs> he loves collecting the different palettes from Hot Topic. She mostly collects, uh, like, what, the YouTuber ones? The ones that her YouTubers collab with and whatnot, I guess. And then I really like buying her the ones from Juvia's Palace, or Juvia's Place, whatever the hell it's called. Because they have amazing sales all the time on stuff, so you can get really high quality nice ones for super cheap. Which, I appreciate the cheap part. <laughs> and just from what I've heard from different people that wear makeup, Mr. Noodle and other friends and whatnot, uh, Juvia's Place just is a good makeup brand too, so. Stop talking crap about my eyeshadows, they're pretty. They are pretty! I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying I don't understand it. But, you do and you get enjoyment out of it, so that's fun. We'll keep collecting them for you. Like James Charles, or perhaps you can provide a less bad example of a person. Yeah, no, they're not better people, the ones that she likes, but, uh, <laughs> she likes the, uh, uh, oh shit, what are they names now? I can't remember their names, but <laughs> two other terrible people that make makeup. She likes their things. Um, we just glitched out of bounds? <laughs> it looks like... <laughs> Yeah, they forgot to put their invisible wall up on this one section over here. <laughs> Jeffrey, Star, and Shane Dawson. Those are the ones, yeah. Two also terrible people, but she likes their makeup. He also collects any themed one. Oh, yeah, no. Mr. Noodle does have, like, uh, the Grogu one. Um, I feel like you have one or two other themed ones, don't you? Other than just the, the Grogu, the Baby Yoda. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? <laughs> like, no Lombax is in the factory. Pay no attention to the Lombax. Alright, looks like uh, we can go over here, so... You'll be honest, you're not sure what their drama was. Too bad, too, since you like Shane. He was a uh, relatable on the self-confidence thing. Yeah, he's just a really shitty person, though, from what I've seen. I, I never really watched any of Shane's stuff, so I'm just going off of second-hand accounts and what I've seen from the, the stuff that Mr. Noodle watches and all that, but everything I've seen just kind of says he's a, he's a shitty dude, like... Which is... Too bad, because, yeah. Can we, like, teleport through that? No, and that's an instant death thing, so... <laughs> okay. That didn't work. <laughs> he made some pedo-ish comments. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh... <laughs> that, too, I guess. <laughs> I honestly, like I said, I, I couldn't remember what all the drama was with him, either. I just remember that it was a thing. Come on, get higher. Just grab it, you freaking Lombax. Okay. I guess we'll have to do what we did last time. Jump up here. And then from here, glide, baby. Thank you. And Jeffrey's racist, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, at least made racist remarks, yeah. You have a little Twin Stars collection, a SpongeBob collection. Yeah, see, I knew there were other ones. 
I couldn't remember them off the top of my head, but <laughs> I knew because I got or collected half of them for you. Holy crap, that was close. Okay, safe zone. We got this. Beautiful. That's the thing, though. Most of those comments were made from the past and a terrible way of coping. He straight up admitted it. Just know that he doesn't do anything now. Honestly, I'm okay saying ignorant the whole thing was stressful as a standard. Yeah. Like I said, I don't really know. I'm not gonna say too much about it myself. Because I don't really know what all went down with it. Oh no, our wireless controller battery level is low. That's actually okay timing. We only got another, what, 10 minutes left anyways? Wet and Wild, that's an interesting name. I'm surprised you've never... Oh, I guess you're not a makeup person. But, uh... Working in retail, I got acquainted with Wet n' Wild. Because it's all over the place at, like, Walmart and whatnot. It's very good, very cheap makeup, yeah. Which, again, I appreciate. <laughs> Any makeup Mr. Noodle wants to enjoy that's cheap... Is a okay by me, man. <laughs> like, uh, excuse me, Mr. Box. I need to use you for a second to climb up here in a way that probably wasn't intended, but it seems like the easiest and quickest way to get up here. So, <laughs> five more rare We should probably do upgrades soon. Uh, not gonna do it today because gonna try to get through this section, but. Where are we trying to get? Up there. Um, oh, man. We were already really close to up there, too. Another box, please. So what are these, these, these force fields or whatever for? I mean, do they just murder organic material? Is that, like... Because <laughs> they're scanning all these boxes, but they're not destroying the boxes, so... So, like, obviously it doesn't destroy inorganic more stuff. Inorganic stuff. Got really clickbaity afterwards and it did stop you watching him. You sometimes want to go back and watch his videos and you remember the whole thing and ugh. Too bad, too, because you enjoyed the videos with this cat, most of all. Fair enough. Like I said, expensive makeup. Be stupid. 100% <laughs> agreed. Is it a ghost hunt docuseries type of thing a couple of months ago? Stanley Hotel and Queen Anne. I didn't like his, uh, his whole conspiracy theory stuff because it was so incredibly clickbaity. And just, uh, terribly misleading as well. I mean, to be fair, a lot of documentaries are incredibly misleading, but still. Oh, hi there, robot. I'm waiting for this thing to, like, take off while we're on it. And for us to just get completely destroyed as a <laughs> byproduct. Can we make that jump? Oh, well, I mean, we have freaking zoom boots, man. I bet you zoom boots would help us across just fine if we don't die first. Yeah. Zoom boots to the rescue, man. Especially Stanley since Colorado. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Like in your hometown stuff. Or, well, home, home state. <laughs> Never watched conspiracy stuff either. I didn't watch it directly, but Mr. Noodle liked to watch it uh, back in the day. Whenever it first came out. And a lot of it just annoyed me. Like, the, the water one was incredibly misleading. The All the comments he made about Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like... Obviously, Chuck E. Cheese is not recycling pizza to give to people. That's just dumb. If it was true, somebody that works at Chuck E. Cheese would have come out and said something by now. And they would have got shut down a long time ago. Like... <laughs> we kind of need a little bit of health, actually. Health would be nice. The Enforcer could be nice for these close guys. He trashed Domino's in the food video? Really? See, I never actually watched it, so I didn't know that. I like Domino's pizza, though. To be honest, it's one of my favorites. 
I think uh, for the price, they have the best pizza you can get, in my opinion. I just wish they had a stuffed crust option, because Mr. Noodle loves stuffed crust, and I also enjoy stuffed crust a lot. Um, I don't know if I like it as much as she does, but, you know. The most you spend on the pallet is $58, yeah. <laughs> you might go watch his old videos anyways. For the sake, just for the sake of it, because you enjoyed them. I mean, yeah. He said, I'm not going to get into it. I don't know enough about it to get into it. Uh, okay, so we did both. And we got a spy bot, which is our first one of those, right? Wait, what? What? We can turn on RPG mode? That's cool. I like that. Damage numbers fly off enemies when you hit them? Yes, please. <laughs> and then we got our first spy bot. You find a resistant spy bot. Each one contains secret intel you can listen to. Seems like a wonderful way to uh, to end the stream here. The last thing to do on the stream. You didn't see the ring or Domino's one? I don't even know what the ring one is. Very good chicken. Their chicken Alfredo is good. I'm not a huge fan of the bread bowls, personally. Mr. Noodle absolutely loves them, but I think there's just not enough sauce to moisten up all that bread and pasta. But the chicken Alfredo on its own, like in a pan, is very, very good. They also contain encoded weapons research. Oh, that's cool. So if you find them all, you get the ultimate weapon. Very into that, man. Zircon got was oppression and slightly cheaper consumer electronics. Travel to other worlds has been heavily restricted along with civil liberties and public crying, but with all the bleakness and despair and hideous architecture, there is one grace note. This is where the resistance was born. Okay, I was uh, kind of expecting something a little more from the spy bot, but <laughs> the fact that they uh, include secret weapons data is really cool. I don't suppose, though, we can get any of that stuff from her now, though, right? So there's some more whatchamacallit stuff littered around here, but other than that, I think we've gotten everything. Yeah, we got the one spy bot, we got the three golden things, and we got the one suit of armor. So this world is done outside of the... Upgrade Vertanium crap. Cool. Very cool. Also, I feel like Batman right now, or Spider-Man. Felt like Batman at first, but... On top of a light pole seems a little more like a Spider-Man. <laughs> Zircon not messing around here. Ah, oh, the Glove of Doom! The Glove of Doom was a weapon from the first Ratchet and Clank game. I really like the Glove of Doom. You throw it out and little uh little robot explosives come out from it. It's really cool. See? And then they just bite the hell out of people and they I think they blow up at the end of whenever they're they're done. Yeah, see little explosions? I feel like they used to blow up bigger, but you know. That's cool. I'm really happy about that one. I don't think we have enough money. Yeah, we definitely don't have mon enough money to get it since we are going in order. But the Glove of Doom is very cool. I love that weapon. Alright, we'll get the we'll get the Void Repulsor. And then we have 44 upgrade parts, man. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's go with our favorites first. Blaster Pistol, nothing. That one's already maxed out. Negatron Collider, we don't use that often. Mr. Fungi. We did unlock more stuff for Mr. Fungi. I didn't even look to see what it does, but I don't care. Just <laughs> deploy two fun guys at once. I, wait, from each shot? That's cool. Um, you still have one more level up, so I'll wait to unlock the rest of this crap until you're like maxed. Shatter bomb, you got pick up from crates. Enemies in the area of effect take maximum damage. Yes, please. Because I do really like this one. And that one as well. And then, do we have enough for the Enforcer? We do. What is it? Shots knock enemies farther back. I mean, eh, I'm a little iffy about that one. Like, whatever. But we'll get it. And that still leaves us with 19. Holy crap. Drillhound. What's our next favorite weapon? Got a 
I mean, the Negatron Collider does come in handy, not gonna lie. You somewhat have a fascination with cool makeups from getting stuff for Sierra, Nate? I would, I don't know if you've ever heard of any of the stuff from Juvia's Palace or Place, whatever the hell it's called, but I would highly suggest checking out that stuff. They have some really nice colors um, in the palettes, and apparently they're just good makeup, and they have sales all the time, so, like, cheap, too. Palace to smell like chocolate? Yeah, she does. That's true. Um, I think we're just gonna save our upgrade stuff, because we don't really use the other weapons that much outside the stuff that we upgraded. So yeah, we're just gonna hold on to him, man, so we can get more cool stuff later. Ooh, and then that explodes it. That's neat. Does it use ammo, like, as we're holding it? No. So it uses ammo whenever we blast it, and then I'm assuming any time it gets hit, it would use up ammo as well, but... Juvia's Place. That is what it's called. Okay. <laughs> so I always forget the actual name of it. Palace, Place, whatever. It's close enough. <laughs> but alright, guys. That's going to be it for the gameplay tonight. The, the, I hope you all enjoyed some Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I know I certainly did. It was a ton of fun, man. That four hours just kind of blew past. Um, and this is what we'll be doing every Sunday from now on. We'll be playing Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart until it's it's at least finished. Um, like I said, I, I'm going to be going for 100% completion. I don't know if I'm going to do that on stream or or on my own time. But at the very least, we'll be finishing the game on stream. So, yeah. A lot of fun. You always said... Place until you watch a video where the girls kept saying palace. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, now it's just all jumbled up in my head, Mr. Noodle, so I'll never remember. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun, Rue. I certainly did. And, uh... What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Monday, which I take Mondays off. So we'll be back Tuesday with some lord knows what i don't know what uh game we'll be playing something on the ps2 and then uh thursday and friday as well and then again sunday for more of uh ratchet and clank thank you all so much for coming out rue thank you man uh mr noodle of course as always and i won't forget you <laughs> nate thank you as well if you're still on here man i appreciate you all anybody else that just stopped in to chill thank you for being here and i hope to see you soon bye bye y'all bolts thankfully we've been collecting all the boats that we can find so we'll take it <laughs> then he just penguins down the sewer pipe maybe maybe this is the solution